If you'd like to get in touch with us during our live show and send in any messages or any questions, then you can do it on studio at sewingstreet.com. Alternatively, you can message us on our official Facebook page. If you're a Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. In need of a crafting fix? There are so many ways you can watch Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Sewing Street is live from 8am to 1pm every day on Freeview 72 and Sky 670. Alternatively, if you want to watch us on a tablet or on the move, you can tune in on our YouTube channel, the Sewing Street app, or the websites at www.sewingstreet.com and www.yarnlane.com. You can watch past shows on Sky 670 from 1pm every day, as well as our YouTube channel, the app, and our website. Yarn Lane is on from 12 p.m. to 1 p.m. Visit our programme guide to find out when and what's on. So you never have to spend a minute without us. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere Browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals. And message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. A pound, you say? A pound? A pound for an early bird? That's not right, is it? Good morning. Today's early bird. Jeremy. Pound. It's a pound. It's a pound. It's a pound. It's a lovely fat quarter. Uh, it's a lovely colour, isn't it? Isn't what colour is that, do we reckon? Sky. Sky. It's a pound. So once you bought this, well, oh now the bottom box hasn't come down. Oh here it comes, here it comes. The, the graphics are playing up. I'm ever so sorry for one. Uh, once you bought this, that's your PMP done for the day. Once you've checked out, <coughs> I'm gonna cough. Uh, make sure, make sure you go through. Make sure you check out. It's a pound. It's oh here we go. People multi buying. Remember, it's a fat quarter. This is a fat quarter. This is a fat quarter. They won't come joined together. So you buy four, you won't get a meter of fabric. They're already cut. In the sky, pound, one pound. And remember, once you're the sky in Kefalonia is that colour, apparently. Oh, I can't wait. Um, remember, once you bought it and checked out, that's your PMP done for for the day. So if you come in and buy a dolly pack, if you come in and buy a skirt pattern, if you come in and buy a dress book, if you come in and buy fabrics, brand new fabrics with caterpillars on it, or a new lace weights, yarn, skirt. No, I, I was talking about the thing that the, the, the yarn they loves in the big tube. Anyway, because uh, your PMP covers the yarn lane as well. Yarn no? I know, I know, I know. It's a pound. Keep going through. Keep going through. Lots of people joining us this morning. I'll do a few uh, Facebook messages while you check it out. Loads of people shopping. Around. Oh, actually, there's more people on Facebook today than normally are. Morning, Princess. Morning, Stephanie. Morning, Sue. Morning, Sue. Uh, can't wait to see the doll making demo, says Sue. Pam Minihani says morning all. Cousin Susan says good morning. Um, uh, Anne says good morning, John. Julie says morning, John and team. Barbara says good morning. Uh, good morning, John says Lynn from a wet and windy Garstang Preston. Loving your shirt. Um, oh, Princess, be quiet. She hasn't stopped talking about Polly Dot. Look, there she is. She's coming up in a minute, Princess. She's so excited. Claire says morning, John and all. Everyone's excited about Polly Dolly. They certainly are, Claire. Morag says morning, John and crew. Need to catch up later. Got grandkids for pampering before back to school tomorrow. Oh, you in Scotland, Morag? Yeah, Derek's back. Derek's back teaching at school. I know. They went back in Scotland. They went back yesterday. 
Uh, hang on, who else? Jackie, morning, John and team. Looking forward to seeing the Polly Dolly Doodle Doo Da Day. I think you've got a few too many words in there, Jackie. Uh, Alison Marion's watching. Anne Bentley says good morning. Pauline says good morning. Loving your shirt. Cloudy here in Dover. Sue Lake says good morning. Excited about the Polly demo, Dolly demo. Nicola says, I bought three. Gorgeous colour. Oh, that's this. I'm sure about this now, yeah. Well done, Nicola. Uh, Michaela Michaela, good morning all. Can't watch today. I'm off babysitting. What are you doing now? They're watching. Uh, Jill. Where's the message from Jill there? Gone. Oh, good morning. What a great day. Uh, then Elizabeth says, morning. You're looking good today. Oh, thank you. Oh, don't talk about my hair. Look at it. What's this? What's going on? I've just had it cut. Uh, Morag says, we're in the windy Dumfries. Dumfries. Morning, gorgeous. Can't wait for Polly Dolly something new, says Leslie. And says, morning. Looking forward to the Dolly show today. Oh, there's no pressure then for Cheryl, is there? Uh, Elaine, good morning, John and team. Ace, morning, John. Say hi to my mum, Cheryl. <gasps> oh, right, we haven't met Cheryl yet. We'll do this. We'll do, what's that? This is Cheryl's coming up in a minute, no. by the way. So Ace is your son, is Asa, it? yeah, that's right. Oh, Ace, He's not got any R on his No, he, he does it slightly different for uh, social media. Oh, OK. Ace. Is he a singer? No. Oh, I've, I've met a singer called Ace, that's all. Uh, 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 well, anyway, he's watching. Uh, Elaine, uh, looking forward to seeing Cheryl live on TV this morning. Morning, John, my ray of sunshine. Thank you, Anne. Donna says, morning, John and team. Looking forward to today's demos. Do you look at, we haven't even done the menu yet. Look how many people are coming in. Uh, this you, this is. It's you. <laughs> I think she's nervous. She's not nervous. I am. Oh, messing Caroline on our bottom. <coughs> Here we go. Good morning. Just bought six. Excited. Has got the day off work today. And can watch live from Caroline in Norfolk. Ray, well done. I've had lots of other things actually being paid for for the day. Shall we move on? We'll do the menu very quickly because we've got lots to fit into today's show. Oh, Jeremy, it's there when you... Polly Dolly, do da with Cheryl at 8 o'clock. She's here, ready to go. Brand new guests, brand new projects. Very excited. Lots and lots of people loving it already. I need to tell you that the pattern and everything's all... Uh, uh, nearly half the stock's gone. Oops, there goes my glasses case. Nearly half the stock's gone. I've got what? Uh, then we've got Sussex Seamstress, the Southwark, no, yeah, the Southwark skirt with Rebecca Harrison. She's coming up at nine o'clock. That's this one, Jeremy. Skirt, skirt. There it is. Lovely, isn't it? Now, I thought there was a picture with different coloured buttons on it. That's weird, isn't it? Oh, it's on the front of the pattern, is that's my mistake then. Okay, that's the skirt. Then we've got, at nine, uh, ten o'clock, we've got fabulous floral fabrics. Uh, we've got some lovely new fabric in that, or I can't tell you, it's fantastic. Oh. Then, what have we got after that? Then we've got the shift dress with Rebecca Harrison from a book, beginner's book. The book has got five pounds, uh, was it five pounds off the book? The book's got five pounds off. Uh, there it is, lovely shift dress. That's a heart, you can see under there. Those little red bits don't come on the dress. Then, uh, Rebecca Harrison finished then. We run all the way down the road to Yarn Lane Studios, uh, where we've got Anakin Alice, Alice, sorry, Anakin Alice. Uh, coming in to do beaded shawls. We've never done beaded shawls before. Uh, there are three ways you can get in touch. The first way is email. There you go. Studio, studio at sewingstreet.com. Studio at sewingstreet.com. You can message me on Facebook Live, which is the ones I've been shouting out. Uh, oh, my word. So many messages. Debbie Young says, morning, John. Morning, Cheryl. Looking forward to the show. Sue says, morning, Cheryl. Morning, John. Rick. Really looking forward to the dolly and meeting Cheryl. Lucy says, good morning. Julie says, bag the early bird and the dolly pattern. Lulu says, good morning, John Coop. Bolly, do die in basket. Checked out. Whoop, whoop. Lorraine says, been looking forward to these dolls on the show for ages. Right, before we go any further, I haven't put any graphics in or anything left. There's only 17 left. There's only 17 <laughs> left. We thought we had way enough. 17 left there are. And I haven't even told you what it is yet or introduced you to Cheryl. Right, the third way is you go to the website www.sewingstreet.com. You click on watch the show live. And then uh, you scroll down the page. Oh, no, to the right-hand side there, there's a send message to studio. That's the one that goes in the white box on our bottom. How, what is, what's Kat's uh, selling message today? She's, she's too busy eating the cakes that Yvonne brought in yesterday. Hello. Right, OK. Look, the early bird sold out. The early bird has sold out. Scroll down the page. You will see everything is on pre-order. Oh! 
Okay, uh, it says sold out. There are five left not being checked out. If you've got those in your basket, you need to check out now. Then I've got Fat Quarters for making frocks. We'll explain all of that in a minute. The demo will still happen. There's the skirt uh, for nine o'clock. Then we've got the, t uh, that's all the fabric for nine o'clock. There's 10 o'clock. There's the new fabrics in 10 o'clock. There they are. They're all mixed in. Actually, they're all mundled up with each other. But there they are. Lots of lovely fabrics in 10 o'clock. There's a big bundle there. Uh, forage, uh, saving 6 99 Then uh, we've got some threads in that. I might not get to those. And then we've got... There you go. There's the book. Save £5 on the book. Uh, oh, no, I didn't see that concealed zip. I only saw the cream one. And there's all the fabrics at... Um, Look at the bundles, the fabric, look at the price. 18 and 24 pounds. <coughs> so floral menagerie geo in multi-cotton fabric. That's coming up later. Oh, that, well, well, hang on. Save 10 pounds. They all got saved 10 pounds on those 24.95 ones. So should they, oh, I don't know why that's happened. And that's brilliant. And then we go to Yarn Lane, but I'm not going to show you Yarn Lane now because I need to get straight on and introduce you to Cheryl, who you've all been dying to meet. Who is, right, well, before I do any, any of this, just tell us who you are and what is Polly Dolly Doo <laughs> Right, okay, hi everyone, I'm Cheryl from Polly Dolly Doo -Dah. I'm the creator um, of this little dolly, which has taken everyone by storm. They all seem to uh, love to create this little uh, dolly. Polly Dolly Doo -Dah. But it's, it's a new, it's a new, you've done so many other projects and you've actually made wedding dresses, oh, bridesmaid have, dresses, yes. the works, yes, haven't you, really? Yes, yes, I have. I, um, started creating from a really early age. I was about eight when I started making my first uh, so soft toys. Um, and then in my 20s, I had a wedding dress shop. Uh, so I used to make bridal dresses and bridesmaids dresses. And then for the last 30 years, I've been running a face painting company. Uh -huh. <coughs> and then obviously last year, lock, uh, lockdown kicked in. Yeah. So face painting dried up. Of course, yeah. yes. Um, but my grandson was born five years ago and it started the creative bug back again oh. um i hadn't done any sewing for 25 years so i just didn't want to do it anymore because yeah. the, the wedding dress you went into it like we all do yeah thinking, oh i can do it i can do it, I can do it. but it grew so quickly yes and you kind of burnt out i burnt it, out yeah, yeah, yeah i all, was doing all so it. much yeah. we were selling we were wholesale selling yeah and i had 40 dressmakers working for me and i was burning the midnight yeah. oil two small children under the age of five oh. and I was just <coughs> burnt out from it all yeah. so I gave it up in 1989 but then and never picked up a sewing needle again. Till last Not, year? Well until five years ago when my grandson was born yeah. I thought oh. I'll just see if I can do sewing again oh. and loved it and then Polly Dolly was in the process of being created. And it's gone mad. Yeah I was, I was going oh, it's we've sold out we've sold out already yeah. and you know how many we had so yeah so so now so basically how it works is what what you if you bought from us this morning right this is what you've bought right so you have bought uh, the, we'll put the graphics in but it has i has sold out we're just checking out you have bought this incredible booklet here which is all about the construction of the poly doll look i mean look, uh, look at the pages look at the photos look at the tech I mean, it's incredible, absolutely incredible. Also in there, you get all of the pattern pieces to make Polly. Every single pattern piece that you need. Look at this. I mean, there's so much. There's so much in there. What you also get in that little bundle is you get a skin tone card, because obviously we're going to talk more about this in a minute. I'm just telling you what you get. And you get a hair colour card. And then when your order goes through and this is sent to you, you will also be sent an email PDF of the cardigan. Oh, she's gone. The cardigan <laughs> that Polly's wearing. Now, don't be thinking, oh, it, a, a, a cardigan pattern, it'll be a page, like a knitting pattern. How many pages is it? It's 13 pages. 13 pages to make the cardigan. So you get all of that for your, for your money, for, for, for your, the, how much it was there, I didn't even see, I didn't get that far. And then what you do is when you've got home, when you've read the brochure, read the packet, seen the pattern, everything, you can then go to the Polly Dolly Doodah website and you can order the skin tone that you want. There's, there's a kit 
there's a kit where you can make everything and you're going to see basically if you want to make the whole shebang you make the doll and the clothes and everything like that there's a kit on the website that you can go to and you get the shoes you get the socks you get everything like that you can but you can choose your skin tone and you can choose your hair color that is a kit that you will buy from Polly Doodah website directly from Cheryl what you've bought from us today is the concept is how to make it how to cut it out now you can also buy clothes fabrics and all sorts like that from Cheryl but if you've got your own because all of our ladies have a stash you can make your own dresses, you don't have to buy the dress fabric or anything, but what you will need to do is buy the, what you're going to see today, the creating of the actual doll itself, and which is what we're going to be doing this morning with Cheryl. So I'll shut up for a little while <laughs> and I'll let Cheryl do some chatting about how you actually put one of these, one of these dollies together. Okay. So what are we going to concentrate on today then? Well, mainly on the head because uh, most people look at Polly's head and think, oh, I am never going to be able to construct um, a little doll's head like that. Um, it's really quite simple and I've made the pattern as easy to follow as possible. I've taken it right back to basics. Um, it's all step by step laid out in the pattern book so it should be really easy to follow. So I'm just going to take you through a few of the basic steps that you would be following to construct Polly's head. Right. So first thing that you would do is you've got a template which is a head ball template. So six sided ball is the first thing that you will make and that will turn out looking like this a very simple spherical ball and that is the inner section um, of Polly's head then moving on from that the next thing we would do is we cover it with some wadding and this is just a general standard quilting wadding I think it's a two ounce wad in, uh -huh. about two centimetres. Crafting, it's like a crafter's wad. Yeah, you know, absolutely. One. It's what's used for crafting, uh, quilting, that type of thing. Uh, now, uh, when when people uh, get in touch with you to buy their, their kits, all yeah. of this is in the it's kit. It's all included. You don't have to worry yeah. about that. No, so when you buy the kit, all yeah, that's Yeah, right in. down to the uh, linen thread, the string that you need um, for sculpting. Absolutely everything um, is included in the kit. So the next step would be to cover the head ball in the wadding and we we're going to do we we'll do this three times but i'm just going to show you the one yeah, yeah, yeah. one way of doing it to start with um, so this is just tweaked around so all those ridges have gone makes it nice and smooth like you're covering a christmas pudding in muslin it, it, oh it is actually i've never done that before but yeah i would yeah. imagine it is <laughs> <laughs> my mother-in-law was a great one for cooking and oh. making christmas puddings and things like that so basically the concept is, is that you are starting to create a more of a substantial head by um, adding layers of wadding. I'm just going to tie this one off just to show you. We get that nice and tight. And this is a linen string. So it's a good quality linen string. It's the sort that doesn't slip through your fingers when you've actually tied it. Uh -huh. um, it's got staying powder, power, a bit like gardening string. You know, you don't want that slipping as you're tying no, up your exactly. roses. So that is the first stage of making Polly's head. Right. And as you can see, my next uh, little show and tell piece is three layers of wadding have been added. So she now has a fatter neck, which has been formed. Right. Which is the correct shape for her and three layers of the so wadding on. So you do that three times then? You three do that, times, that yeah. Three, three lots times, of yeah. Wet, uh, wadding three times. The wadding is 18 inch square. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, three lots uh, onto there. Also, don't worry if you're missing any of this because you've got a YouTube, you've got a YouTube channel. I have. You, I've got 13 watch. videos um, on my YouTube channel, Polly Dolly Doodle, um, And it's completely step by step. A lot of the videos are sort of 30, 40, 50 minutes long. Um, so yeah, it's quite intense, but it does go through absolutely everything um, so that you can see the complete process being made. Um, yeah, so they're on uh, YouTube. Yeah, because um, uh, Sue says watch Cheryl's YouTube videos yesterday. They're brilliant going through each step. Thank you. Um, so you've got so many messages, I can't read them all out. <laughs> um, Claire, we'll tell you about the, the angel policy in a minute because there's a special policy about people who make these to sell. But we'll, do, we'll go through that once we've done the making of the face. Right, so. Okay, so then we'll, we've gone to our next step and we're going to use a tubular gauze bandage. Now this is the sort of thing that you would buy uh, to put on sprained wrists, sprained knee, that type of thing, easily found in chemists. Uh -huh. And this would be the next stage 
um, of your Polly's head. So that just goes on there like that. You have enough left at the top for sewing over. But looking like that, her head looks really round and no features and really flat. So what we do next is we, oh, I have got an elastic band somewhere, there it is. We would put an elastic band on halfway and even the elastic band comes in the kit as well. Okay, <laughs> so you don't have to get any of this. No, all I was originally leaving it up to people to provide their own elastic band and I'll you know, speak to the postman nicely and people saying, I haven't got elastic band. Yes. So I thought, you know what? Well, actually, my daughter suggested, you know what? We should put an elastic band in the kit. Well, so the thing is, is that you know then that it's the right size, the yes. right thickness, and you know, because otherwise yeah. people have different elastic yes, bands, it might absolutely. not work well. Well, I did have to buy three boxes, big 250 elastic bands in a box, boxes, before I found the right size to oh, fit. Oh, crikey. So, uh, yeah, I've got them <laughs> in the end. So, yeah, so we found our centre part um, of our Polly's head, and now we need to just really give her a chin, to give right. her a little bit more feature to the bottom um, area of the face. So we're just putting in a handful of stuff in. Sorry, I'm having to push it up against my body. That's right, don't but worry. But you get the, the gist. So by putting more stuff in, into that chin area there, you can see that now the shape of the face um, oh, so it's quite, it's quite, form. It's, I was thinking when I first saw these, I was thinking, oh, there's going to be so much sculpting. and There's a little bit of string sculpting, but, but, but not a lot. But that's quite basic. You that just, is you really just push basic. The yeah, in. Just, just push the stuffing up. Stuffing and you, inside. We, we would use a doll needle just to tweak it out, yeah. make sure that there's no ridges and lumps and bumps. But yeah, basically, that is how you get that sort of side profile so that you've got that nice contour. Uh -huh. um, shape face there. How on earth did you even think, I wouldn't even think of that concept at Well, all. there's a lot of what's called um, fibre arts um, dolls yeah. where you do the needle felting, you know, like do needle yeah, felting? Yeah, 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 yeah. So you put the wool on, the roving wool on, yeah. and then you would needle felt it yeah, to yeah, get yeah, into that shape. I knew, like yeah. That. Well, I knew that I didn't want to do that because that's really difficult, really complicated to do. And because I was trying to make a pattern that was really easy, and simple for people to follow, um, I decided that no, going down the needle felting route was just not the way. Also, if you go down way. the needle felting route, you've then got to buy the pad, the leather the needles, bits, put on your finger, the needles yeah, to stab it yeah. with. And they're not expensive, but it's an... It, it, it is, yeah. It, it, this way, you make one and you think, oh, this isn't for me. You've, yes. you've done it. You've not had to outlay, outlay a lot of money. Yeah. So that's why I came up with the idea of, no, we've got to do it simple rather than needle felting. Let's put the gauze on and let's just stuff it with... Yeah. Um, with some more stuff in. How brilliant. So yeah, so there is, this is the next step. Can, so, so, can I just ask, yes, what have you done at the top? You know, you had the, the, the bandage at the top, you just literally folded it Yes, that's just sewn over in. at the top into a little V. Right. So that's sewn over at the top there. The bottom's sewn in as well now, so that's all okay, um, sealed. I've kept the elastic band on, I've tweaked the stuffing, so it's going as a smooth transition into her forehead yeah. and out towards the sides there. Now you can see the, the side of the front of her face is a lot smaller than the whole of the back area. Right. So that is the the, the front feature um, of her face. There. And have you well, you just smoothed that then, smoothed it round, pushed yes. it further round yeah. to the back. Yeah. So you just take a doll needle again. You get one of these in the kit. Oh well, right. Uh, nothing left to chance, and you would just take the stuff in and just smooth it out. Yeah so that you're not left with any sort of lumps and bumps and ridges um, on the top. And that is basically that area there where the pin is, that's where her ears are gonna go. Right. So you need to sort of take that stuff in beyond that section there. Because obviously all the hairline um, all the, is All this is, here. is in the instructions. All so explained in the instructions, yes, yeah. yeah. So then moving on to the next step, this is where we do the, sk the string sculpting. And this is the part that people go, oh, I don't know if I can do that, that looks so difficult. It's basically just two, um, string lines. Right. So I've got them in a knot there. Let's oh. undo that one. So two string lines, one horizontal, one vertical. Right. Uh, really easy to do. So you hold your string at the back of her head and you take it under the elastic band and you wrap it round twice and then you give it a pull. Right. Now I might not be able to do this without pulling it up against my body. No, no, if I you need to, to, pull it up against your body if you need I'll to, uh, don't worry, Jay, we can take it from the front. I'll pull it as tight so as I can. So how tight do you pull it? You then? pull it as tight as you can. Oh, okay. And again, it's a good um, linen uh, strong string, string, so it strong doesn't, uh, yeah. But before you tie it off, you would just place 
um, a pin in there and just do your normal hooking around there's a figure of eight around that pin just so it doesn't slip uh -huh. and then you can take your lucky band off right save it for the next one save it for the next one absolutely oh she says i've got it hooked in there but that's okay oh. we'll forget i've done that all right hook in there. <laughs> <laughs> and then you take your second piece of string and then this is the one that's wrapped around the top so you start at the top of the head you bring it down where those side pins are because that's denoting where the side of your face is you bring it up over the top and you bring it down again and you come up and it, the string has gone right in under that neck edge there so again give it a pull right so hang on so you went where i, I missed so you went down down well, how, does it, how does it clip at the bottom where, it's where's hooking it under the chin oh i see i see yeah, yeah so yeah, where perfect. the stuffing is yeah. that we put in it's hooking under there brilliant we've got another little bit of string there to i keep couldn't that see on. where it was attaching at the bottom yeah and then all. so you bring in that up as well tying that into a knot and you again with this one you pull as tight as you can the tighter you pull it yeah. the, s the, the more pronounced the sculpting will be right, okay. and again you don't tie that off quite yet you would just put another pin grabbing pins in the top and you just fasten that off you don't tie it in an a knot to start with because you need to measure now there's certain oh, measurements okay. yeah. this from pin to pin this side here this needs to be 14 centimeters this must have taken you forever it did to work it out did. all these all these I've kind got, of equations i did 15 prototypes before i actually came up with polly the oh, finished okay. one and i've got a box at home full of all these all odd, the look, <laughs> odd looking faces and heads Sometimes oh. I get them out and look at them and think, really? But that's how she started. <laughs> yeah, so, no, that's no, brilliant. Yeah, that's I have gone brilliant. through the mill. If yeah. she didn't turn out like this on my first go, I can tell you, she was horrendous. But the thing is, you've taken all of the stress out yes, of it for everyone else. Yes, I have, because yeah, because I've spent go, the time. This needs to be here. This is the string. Yeah. I'll supply it in the kit. Here's yeah. The kit. I'll supply it. To, so all the stress of like starting off is mm. gone completely. Yes. You, at home, they can just enjoy and look through the, the book, the pattern book, the and everything's and, written down. And the down. book, I have to keep saying, it's like it's got so many it pictures has. in, it's and got, it's got so much. Well, it's much got everything. It's in. got all the measurements that you need. You know, when you are doing the the string sculpting of the yeah, head. Yeah, yeah. See, those are the bits that we've just gone through now, um, and it's going to give you all the measurements of what you need you know, for your head uh, to look like. So once you've bought that, what, the, what you've bought from us today, you don't need to buy an instruction kit again, do you, if you're doing no. poly? No, once you've got your book, you can make as many dolls as you want. Exactly. You can keep going and going and going. Because then you can keep going back and yes. buying the, the skin tones from you yes. and the hair from you, so you can yes. make as many, many variations as you like. As which you people like. are. Yeah. Funny enough, people are calling it polyholics because oh. it's an addiction. People are saying, God, I made one, I've got to make another, I've got to make another, I've got to make another. Yeah. Um, and it becomes a bit of an addiction, which is great. Um, so, yeah, it's not just let's make one and that's it, be done with it. You know, once you've made one, I think it, there's a big learning curve as well when you're making your first one. Um, I see on my Facebook page so many times and just hi to all my Facebook fans. You're all <laughs> great and wonderful and you keep me going. But I see so many times on my Facebook page people saying, I love making my first dolly, but next time I would do this different. Yeah. So it's a massive learning curve for people because as they're making their doll, they're th thinking about the next one and of thinking, course. Oh, and well, I'll do that different next time. Yeah, so We're just doing Polly today, mm. but on your website, you've also got... We've got Ollie, Ollie, her brother, and he's a real super cool dude. Okay. He's great. And we've also got her baby sister, Molly. Now, she's a tiny little baby darling. She's got the crooked little knees and little bent arms. Um, and she's a tiny baby and she sits in a little Moses basket. So hopefully you might have me back and yeah, I can do yeah, yeah, uh, Ollie and uh, Molly. And is there plans to expand the family more? Um, not at the moment. Um, I think I've got enough on my hands with the three of them. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> with Polly, you know, Ollie and Molly. Yeah. I've got lots and lots of ideas in the pipeline, especially for next year. I mean... You don't have to give anything away. No, well this year I have booked into three of the big major shows. I'm doing Exeter in September. I'm doing Ali oh. Pali. Oh, they're all in, our ladies and gents yeah, go there. I'm yeah, I'm doing Ali Pali in October, yeah, yeah, and yeah. then I'm doing Harrogate in November. <gasps> um, but next year, I am looking to take her on the road and do some masterclasses. 
across oh, the UK. So, uh, yes, that's in the pipeline. There's no stopping you now, oh, no, is there? no, not at all. <coughs> anyway, anyway, I, I interrupted then. So we've done the... We've done yeah, the, so we've done the, the stream sculpting. Stream. We've got the measurements, 14 centimetres from there to there, 8 centimetres from there to there. That keeps the face consistent with how the doll should look um, as a finished item. Now, here is one I did earlier. Uh -huh. <laughs> this Singleton. is a sculpted face. Um, she's got her strings on. That back string that went from there that was the horizontal. Uh -huh. I get my horizontals and my verticals muddled up. But that has now been pulled down to the back, so that creates the nape of the neck at the back. Um, we've closed the ridge, so where it was a, f a deep inset ridge, we've just closed that by just sewing all the way through the so ridge. So the strings, the string stays in? The string stays okay. in, yeah. yeah, the string is there. Yeah. Uh, we've added a nose, right. and the way that we added a nose is we've taken a piece of the scrap wadding that we had, put a darning needle in, and we roll it into a really tight, compact little tube uh -huh. about the size of a chopstick, cut it down, and then we hot glue gun that on. So that okay. nose isn't going anywhere. You can sew it on if you haven't got a glue gun. That's absolutely fine. That can be uh, sewn on. So this is Polly's head, the inner head. Right. Um, I should what, say. What, 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 sorry, what, what have you got where the eyes and the mouth is? They're just pins in They're there? They're just right? pins in there, just so that I can, for my placement. Oh, okay, okay, that's it's fine. funny, you, a lot of people do that. They, they get to the stage, they just want to put a pin in, just see what she looked like. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> By putting a pin in, you can sort of see that you can see her come to life a little yeah, bit. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah, I just pop the pins in. And just show me around the back again, where the yeah, string so went around, around the, back. the back. So, we've taken that, that string that was through there, that yeah. was cut in through there, and we've taken it and we've hooked it down. You can either use a crochet hook to hook it down or your yep. nails, and that now forms the back right, section okay, foam. Um, of Gosh. the head. And this ridge has all been stitched, just on a slip stitch, yep. all the way through there, just to keep it nice. Um, and it, so the string's not going to move at yeah, all. Brilliant. So many people loving this demo. I can't tell you how many oh, messages good. we're getting. Absolutely <laughs> loving it. Okay, so on to the doll jersey. Now, this is from, I buy my doll jersey from Holland, so it comes in specially from there. It's a fabulous doll jersey, to wear Engel. Now, there are a number of other doll jerseys um, on the market. I have tried a few, believe me, I did try um, a couple of other ones as I was starting out, but this is just absolutely superior. So we have peach, we have fair, we have sun-kissed, olive, russet, and brown. So it's like buying a makeup palette now, isn't it? It is. You know, yeah. Like when you, so when you buy your like different foundations, you think which it does look like a makeup palette. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. So uh, yeah. So those are all these the six shades uh, that I do. Sunkissed is by far the most popular. Now Sunkissed is the one that I've used on Polly. Right. Um, sometimes people think it looks a bit dark, but once it's actually on the doll, it does stretch, so it does sort of reduce the colour down slightly. Yeah. Um, also, so we n none of us really know. What our skin tone, if somebody would say, draw your skin tone, we'd yes. 90% of us get it completely wrong. We'll get it wrong. wrong. It's like choosing the foundation. Yes. I mean, yeah. I haven't been a makeup teacher for many years. Okay. Um, <laughs> you know, I know about choosing foundations yeah. for correct skin tone. So, yeah, uh, yeah this is a, a fabulous um, doll jersey to use. You can see it's really thick. It's got minimal stretch, but it has got enough stretch, obviously, to go uh -huh. um, over your dolly. So, yeah, so if you wanted to purchase the fabrics from me, um, then obviously you've got the choice of these uh, six colours. Yeah, so, uh, so what, as I was saying earlier, if you've bought this from us this morning, you've got your pattern and your templates and all your instructions, everything in there. Then what you do is have a good read of it, decide what, what you want to make, which poly you want to make, what variation, because there's so many different varieties. And then you can get in touch with Cheryl and you can order the skin tone of the fabric you want and the hair colour, which we'll get onto in a minute. So you make it completely and utterly bespoke to yourself. Like no two dolls are ever going to be the same. No, they're they? not. They're That's not. Fine. And another thing, this is what amazes people. They say, well, I made my doll exactly the same this time as I did last time, but she looks completely different. Yeah. Um, and even my dolls, these are the three of my particular dolls here. I've got my licensed seller's dolls on this side, but these are my three dolls. Now they're all different. They're all made by me, and they're all made from the same pattern, um, but they're all they're all different. Um, as you can see, this is the uh, olive skin tone, uh -huh. and again, she looks completely different because I've given her a slightly different hairstyle. Uh, she looks a little bit more sort of funky. Yeah. Um, so yeah. So even though you'll be using the same pattern time and time again, your dolls will always be different, and that's the beauty about crafting something yourself. 
um, and it's not mass made. It's manufactured by you, handcrafted by you. So every time you make it, it will be uh, it will be different, and that's the beauty of it. Yeah, and don't be frightened. You're looking at these hairdos now, thinking, "Oh, I can't do hair, can't do hair." We're going to talk about that. Yes, it's, we it's, will. it's not difficult. So don't panic, thinking, "Oh, I'm no hairdresser. I don't know how to do that." We're going to go through. Yeah, that we will you. do. <coughs> so yeah, so we've chosen our skin color. Mm -hmm. um, so for my demo, <coughs> I am using. Um, Fair. So this is the, the yeah. Oh uh, no, for my for this part of the demo, this is the sun kissed. Same as what Polly's yeah. got on. Um, where have I gone? Oh, on this one here, aren't I now? Yeah. So this is our head um, that we've made. We've got our nose on. I'm just going to take my pins out because I don't want those in there now. No. Pop them in there. <coughs> and I've made um, a head. So this is the first thing that I've sewn. You, when you're sewing it on your sewing machine, you do need to use a stretch needle because otherwise it will jump. Yeah. There's nothing worse than having jumped, missed stitches. Oh, no, no. Um, and obviously pink, the fabric, really close back to the uh, seam. Right. So that's the head. Do so your pattern pieces have seam allowance on No, them? there's no seam allowances on there. And again, um, I'm a real stickler for saying to people, when you cut your pattern piece out, you cut your pattern piece out on my drawn line. Okay, so right. when you've cut that pattern piece out on my drawn line and you put it on your fabric piece, yeah. you take your air erasable marker pen, yeah. you draw around it. And it's always a good idea to actually photocopy it onto card. Mm -hmm. So the pattern that you get in your book, keep that as a master copy. Yeah, don't cut that up. No, yeah, keep yeah. that as best. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, and then you can photocopy this onto card, yeah. use an air erasable marker pen, draw around the outside of it like that and then you follow your stitch mark. Again, right. this is clearly yeah. shown in the videos that I've got on YouTube. You are draw, you are sewing um, along your stitch mark. Yeah. And then that keeps the pattern consistent because if you're following your own seam allowance that you've added um, to the fabric, your doll's head or your doll's body, arms, etc., will come out different shape to what they should be. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, so that's the way to do so it. Now so, the pa so the pattern piece is for the, <coughs> <coughs> the sock that you're just putting on now. That's yeah. all in there and everything. That's all yeah. included. So yeah. this is the headpiece. So what we do, again, I'm going to have to push this that's onto fine. my body. So I'm rolling it up to the neck and I'm pulling the neck through, getting that up there as far as I can. Now this is always the hard part to right. do. It's getting the fabric, because it needs to be a tight fit, because yeah. you don't want it slipping. You pull a bit to the front, a bit to the side bit over the back and you just keep pulling and pulling and pulling oh until eventually word, her skin is on her head and again same process as before that's just folded over as a flap at the top right sewn down the same as we did the um <coughs> the original fit over when that's we, right yeah, yeah for yeah, the, uh, the bandage bandage yeah. the tubi grip so yeah so there you can see She's got that nice side profile. She's got the chin, which she wouldn't have had if you'd have just put, done it as a ball without oh yeah, stuffing yeah, yeah, the chin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So she's got that nice uh, sidey uh, profile there. And then, so this is in the fair colour. Right, you can see okay. the difference between the two. Yep. So this is sun-kissed. Mm -hmm. And this is fair. Sun-kissed is the one that we've I've used for Polly. I tend to use sun-kissed most of the time. Yeah. It's my favourite colour out of all of them. Fair is well, it looks I don't want to say the other one looks it, not healthy, but the other one does look pe very pale. Pale. Now, this yeah. is great to use with the ginger hair because right. it's that lovely sort of pale yeah, exactly, exactly, uh, skin. Exactly. Yeah. Also, if people, <coughs> if people have bought the kit from us and everything and they don't quite know if they need a bit of advice about colours. Yeah, I'm at know. the end of an email or at the end of Facebook. I've got so many expert Polly Dolly Doodah makers on my Facebook group, you wouldn't believe it. Yeah. Um, we've got a huge community on there. I think there's nearly 3,900 oh, people whoa. on there now. Um, and you go on, that's put, it's Facebook Polly Dolly, Polly Dolly So Show and Tell. And you can put your dolls on there, you can put your questions on there, and the amount of Polly Dolly experts that would jump in and say, oh yeah, I can help you with that. Oh yeah, yeah. Because this is what you do. Only and because like, if you've <coughs> never made one before, yeah. you kind of you wouldn't think, oh, I'd need the paler skin, because that paler skin, <coughs> excuse me, the light, looked really lovely with yes. that, that, that yeah. kind of coppery hair. Absolutely. But you 
you wouldn't think that and maybe no. if you put the copy hair with one of the other skin tones it might not work not work well, yeah think, that's yeah. right so yeah always you know always put your questions on the group because there's so many people on there now that are you know real expert poly dolly makers that they're always sort of happy to help mm -hmm. so yeah so this is then moving on to the next stage so we've got a head on we've closed the top by doing that little v section there i put a couple of pins in obviously to show where the eyes um, and the mouth will go and I've attached her body. Now the body is just attached by doing just a mattress stitch all the way around the mm -hmm. neck edge. And I usually go around three times just to make sure that it's really secure on there. Um, and I've just done a little bit of stuffing um, in the body. Okay. But again, all the pattern pieces are in your instructions, all the yes, templates, everything. Are. We're not going to concentrate <coughs> on the, the body or anything today, but it's quite simple, isn't yes. it, the, the body construction yes. bit? Yeah. Well, here's, here's a naked girl. Oh. I'm sure you won't mind seeing a naked girl. <laughs> So here she is, I'll put her to the side like that. Yep. So yeah, this is naked uh, Polly. Um, and as you can see, she's got her arms and her legs all sewn on. The, the great thing about the arms is they do sort of go up and down, so uh -huh. they can give you your little girl cuddles or whatever. Uh, the legs bend, so she'll sit nicely. So she can sit on a shelf. In now, a, a are they bedroom. made to sit on a shelf and be look beautiful, or are they made for little kids to play? Well, with? they are play items, they really are. I mean, what child, what bedroom could you put this on and not have a little kid go and play with that? Oh so, yeah, uh, no, yeah. exactly, So exactly. they'll sit on, and they've got a little sculpted bum as well. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Which so is all in the instructions. It's all in the instructions on how to do that, but I'm very hot on my Facebook page, not allowed to put pictures of the bottoms onto my Facebook page. Oh, okay. Not at all, I had Facebook uh, wrap my knuckles for showing bottoms on my... Uh, even though it was... Even, even though it was a doll, <laughs> yes. So I got into trouble for that. So I don't allow bums. Well, they say, all right, showing it on the television. Yeah, not on, <laughs> not on Facebook. They don't like to see dolls' bottoms on television. How on my strange. Facebook. Yeah, so um, has she got a belly button? She has got a little belly button, yeah. And again, that's all completely outlined. And there's a video on it as well on my YouTube channel. How to put the belly button on to draw it through to the back. Um, to do her little bottom Okay, there. now I've got a couple of questions. Mm. I've, I've got so many, there are so many messages, I can't tell you. <laughs> right, so Christine said, I'm sitting here mesmerised watching Cheryl creating it. Wonderful, wonderful, that's from Christine. Diane says, Mr. Begin the show, what do they call the lovely lady? She's called Cheryl Church. Um, hang on, and are all the instructions sold out? Yes, Diane, they are. We're working, Kat's working furiously to try and get some more now. Uh, Leah says, my daughter who's three is asking me to make her one of these. I need one in my life. Julie mm -hmm. says, absolutely love this demo. Louise says, I love Cheryl and her dolls. I've made two Pollies and one Molly. My Polly is called Lucy Lockdown. Uh, Laurie is saying, fantastic <laughs> demo, great design. Can't wait to have a go. <coughs> Louise said, missed the beginning of this. It's fascinating. I'll be watching it back. Sue says, fabulous, fabulous, fabulous. Christine says, I'm loving the demo. They look great. Uh, Princess says, um, I don't show my first one ever. Then Kath says, morning, John. I don't think, I didn't think I'd be interested in doll making, but it's fascinating. So that's what I love about yeah. our ladies. They'll just tell us how it is and yeah. they're absolutely fascinating. Sylv says, morning, having a quick look while I get ready for work. These dolls are amazing. What a brilliant guest, get her back. <laughs> um, Diane says, oh, I've been looking forward to this show so much. Susan says, a good morning. I love seeing Cheryl and her dolls. Lucy says, ordered mine. My daughter will absolutely love this. Thank you so much indeed. Um, did you say that you had two questions as well, Kat? Okay, I didn't see any question questions there. I've got some fat quarters. I'm not taking away from you, mm. but I've just got some fat quarters. If you want to make a little dress, got some uh, fat quarters to run through. Uh, Liberty Bundle, which is the... Uh, which one? Oh, five of these, right. There we go. One, two, three, four, five. If you wanted a few fat quarters just to make some frocks... Oh, there you go. Little dress. Now, is the, there's the dress pattern in the book. Yes, dress pattern's in the book. Do you need anything <coughs> else for dress patterns in the book? Have a look on Jeremy on those. So that's the dress pattern, and that there can easily be made out of a fat quarter. Yeah. Uh, Jill says, good morning to you both. I'm a poly doodah person. Love them all. Fantastic. Uh, anyway, so there's your five fat quarters then. And then... We are working uh, right at this moment of getting more patterns. We are working on getting more patterns. There you go. So you get three fat quarters in this one. Two, they're lovely floral and you get your lemon splodge there. Fat quarters on their own. And then we will, I promise we'll get on with it. I promise we'll carry on. Which one do you want to go to first? Far left, that's one here. Cosmos. Is that Cosmos? There you go. 349 for a fat quarter. I'm doing these really quickly because I want to get back to the um, 
to Cheryl. Next one. At 21. These are fat quarters, remember. The 74. Then I've got the pink one. And let me finish in 08. We are working on getting more patterns right now, more instructions right now, because it's been so popular. Oh, well, it's red, not pink, actually. And then finally, this one. That's not Liberty, is it? 38? Oh, that's right, Anne of Green Gables. Righty-ho, that's all I've got to show you. So where do we go next, then? Well, let's talk about the hair, yes, shall we? Yes, please. So, yeah, Polly's hair, um, it's a, again, I get this from Holland. Um, it's a looped mohair uh, yarn, which works beautifully for her hair. Gives is it, her is, it lovely and is it a knitting yarn? Do no. Do people knit with it? No, this has been specially created for this dolly type hair. of doll. Oh, yeah. okay, okay. It is dolly, it is dolly hair. Yeah. Um, you can buy boucle um, yarn. Yeah. I've seen. But if you could have seen her face, then <laughs> I wouldn't bother buying boucle. I'm just like, you can buy boucle, John. But it hasn't <laughs> quite got the same effect. Um, yeah, I mean, but I've seen a lot of my poly dollies um, heads been made in just normal yarn, like yeah. Karen yarn is a good yarn to use. So you don't have to use the uh, the mohair uh, boucle, but I just think it really does add to the doll. Yeah. So we, we just cut lengths of this uh, mohair yarn. But prior to doing that, because a lot of people say, oh, I don't think I'll be able to put that hair on. It's really easy peasy, lemon squeezy. <laughs> we have a straight mohair, mohair also yeah. known as a brushable mohair. And this is for the cap. Now, all you're doing is if you can crochet a chain, if you can't crochet a chain, you just YouTube it. Google has crochet yep. a chain. And you make a 20, it's 20 meters on this ball. You make a chain worth of 20 meters. And then that chain is put on her head. Again, it shows it in the book, yeah. in a spiral all the way around. Oh, so you're, really just, you're just covering the whole head. Covering the whole of the head in a spiral um, with the crochet chain. Let me see if I can find it. Yeah, there you go there. Right. So it starts off as a chain. And then you just cover the head in a complete spiral. Right, I've got a quick question. Hmm. Yours hasn't got ears. That one in the in the, book, the picture you just showed me had ears. Oh yes, I didn't get, I was going to do ears on this one, last one I did, I didn't get time, I ran out of time, but yeah. Okay, ears, no, no, no. It so, is so, on, no, no. Yeah. so they do have ears. They do, they have, do ears, have ears, they have and, ears. And it's all in the book. And yes. it's all in the I book. I wasn't trying to catch no, you No, 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 that's fine. Yeah, like there you go, there's the ears page. Uh, here yeah. uh, in the book, yes. Yeah. So it shows you how to place, the, uh, to make the ears and how to position them where they uh, ideally should be positioned. Fantastic. So yeah, so, and then the hair is just cut it, the, the, the mohair is just cut into lengths and all you're doing is you are doing hook and loop through the chain, a bit like, remember the ready cut rugs? Yes, Did yes, you yes, one yes, of yes, them? yes, yeah. We, we, do, we do something called, what's that thing we do with squares and we pull the, the wool through on Yarn yeah. Lane? Isn't that a ready cut rug type of it thing? Is, it's exactly a ready cut rug, yeah. but that's a brand. <laughs> and it's ours. Oh, yeah. No, don't <laughs> no, worry. Sorry. <laughs> no, no. Ours is a um, Jan made one recently. We have pictures of dogs and you pull the wool. Oh, through yeah, that's it. Yeah. Well, colours. it's exactly yeah. the yeah. same system as that. It's just hook and loop. So you put your crochet hook through a piece of the chain and you pull your mohair boucle through and then you just put it into a knot. Yeah. And you just continue to work all the way around her head, um, working um, the the yarn and you take you use about between 80 to 90 meters right um, of yarn to cover her head um, and yeah she c her hair can be styled um, however you like oh let's talk about the colors yes yeah. so there's yeah. loads of colors so we've got right the way from the the white pearl color which is this young lady here is my yeah yeah bring her in <laughs> and you can Jeremy see her and hair is say, go slightly go different so she's got little pigtails yeah so that's another... Um, but can you, once it's set in pigtails, it has to stay in pigtails? No, 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 no. Polly's had her hair in... I mean, I've done loads of photo shoots on her, obviously. Yeah. She's had her hair down, she's had her hair in ponytail, she's had her hair in pigtails, she's had a, um, a plait at the back. So, yeah, you can you, you can do lots of... And um, while, while we're there, that's the cardigan. Yes, this is the cardigan. That they get the free PDF yes, of, Yes, that's it? right. This if is the little it. cardigan. It's one of those lovely... I love these sort of oversized, chunky, baggy little cardigans. Uh -huh. So, so you uh, get yeah. the if you bought the pattern, you get the you PDF get the free, for free PDF, in that which one. I will yeah. email you. Um, latch hook, it, we call it latch hook. Thank you, Jam. Uh, so okay. yeah, so the colours. There's loads of different colours. A colour for everyone there. Um, you know, to, to uh, for the. Could hair. you? Can you mix 
would you suggest only staying with one colour? No, you can mix. You so can, you can do, do low lights you could and do, high lights Absolutely. Believe it or not, Polly here, she has got two colours in her. Oh, OK. She's got a very, very pale blonde and a darker blonde. Oh, brilliant. Because she was the first doll, the proper, the first out of the prototypes yeah. that I made. Um, oh, I can I'd, see it now. We're yeah, close in. She's I can see it now, yeah. She's sli got two slightly different colours. Yeah. Um, and I've had people use um, a bit of the red brown or cherry uh -huh. with the sort of like the darker brown, just to yeah. give either highlights, low lights, that type of thing. So yeah, you can mix colours easily. Brilliant. Uh, would would work nicely. Okay, now I need to ask a question. Eyes, and I know we're not covering it, but everyone's me nemesis, eyes and mouth. Well, yeah, because because on your website you also sell eye eyes, don't mm. you? As well as but these the are, I think are so, are so these are of. embroidered on eyes. Yeah. Again, um, I've got a, a YouTube tutorial, I think it's a 30 minute YouTube tutorial showing exactly how to do these eyes. Uh -huh. This is the bit that frightens everyone. Oh, is it? Yes, because you've made your doll and she's beautiful and you've done all the sculpting and you know she's looking lovely yeah. and then you've got to embroider the eyes and they're going, I could mess up here. Yeah. But you know, it's no worry. If you do mess up, it's easily just to unpick it. Yeah. yeah, it's no, no worry. Um, so yeah, I've got a, I think again, it's 30, 40 minute video um, on YouTube exactly showing how to do the eyes and to how to create the mouth, um, to create a soft little smile. Yeah. Can I just explain about the concept of what a war, this is a Wardolf doll, or an, a Wardolf inspired doll. Right. And the concept of this type of doll's face yeah. is that it should be quite expressionless. Right. Um, reason being is because when the child is playing with this doll, if the child is feeling a little bit sad, she doesn't really want to be playing with a doll that's got great big wide eyes and a big happy smile. Right. Because, you know, her emotions aren't, feel, aren't like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so therefore, when you make this type of doll, the face should be quite expressionless. Right. Not too much of a smile and small um, eyes as well. And um, that, that's the style, the Waldorf style of doll. That's right, yeah. It's well, a bit I like didn't our, realize it was like the psychological yeah, thing. Yeah, it's a bit like, like our Mont Montessori education. It's yeah, yeah, keeping yeah. things simple and sort of like expression, expressing the child's play yes. in what they're playing with. And if you've got a doll that's got great big eyes and a great big smiley face and maybe big eyebrows, yeah. and, the doll is, and, and the child isn't feeling that, she's a little bit yeah. sad that day, then that doll is not going to talk to her. It's really weird because uh, away from this is I, uh, my friend Francesca works with children who've been abused and I asked mm. some of my ladies and gents if they'd made me some therapy dolls. I've had thousands and thousands. Yeah. But you're right. If you don't, if you put an expression his face, then the child, yeah. uh, the child can put her feelings into to that doll. Yeah. So the if, the, if the child's feeling sad and the doll's looking yeah. a little bit sad with her, then that's absolutely fine. Uh, but so I don't that's think they why they look sad. They look Mona Lisa esque. Well, they do. They? I, I try not to give them too much of a smile, but yeah. they've got a tiny little little dainty sort of little dainty smile there. Nothing too sort of um, you know over the top. Not like some of these dolls that you can get that have got great big eyes and great big exactly, smiley faces. Exactly, but that's what you buy those for. You buy those yes, for those that's the, right, the jazz yeah. hand, they're the jazz yes, hands. Yes, absolutely, dolls, yeah. Right, what we have to do, before I do Eileen's question, mm. I've had loads of people asking about the angel policy. So before we run out of time, we need to talk about what if you can buy, if, if people want to make them to sell. Yes, okay, so I've, I was finding that a lot of people were making the dolls and then asking for permission to go on and sell them. Um, because I've had all the patterns trademarked, um, I now sell a license, so it's a license to sell. So I've got a handful of people that have actually purchased the pattern and are now making the dolls in their own right. Uh, so this dolly here, uh, she's called Agatha, and she's been made by one of my licensed sellers called Leslie. Wave to your mummy, I bet she's on telly watching you. Oh. So by having the pattern and making the dolls, you can then go on and create your own little business. Um, so yeah, you can start making and selling these dolls, have your own Facebook page, your own website, you know, Instagram, you could sell them at craft fairs and everything like that. But you, you, I must stress here, you can't just buy the pattern and start selling, selling them. them, no. You have to get permission and from buy me. a license Yeah, you have to buy you. a license. It's only a minimal fee of £65 for the year for the license and then that grants you permission to use the poly dolly pattern uh, framework and you can make as many dolls as you like. So yeah, we've got some great ones here. Uh, this is another little one here from one of my ladies called Mandy, and this is Kelly's little doll here. So yeah, so you know the sky's the limit. If you really enjoy making Polly and think, you know what, I could sell these because once you've made them, people are going to start saying to you, "Oh, will you, can I buy one of those? Yeah, I yeah, really yeah. like that doll. Will you make me one?" Yeah. Um, and then you, 
people start thinking, well, yeah, I could actually start making these yeah. to sell. But so please, please, you've got to get the license. Yeah. You mustn't sell them without, without the, the license. Because they're all it, trademarked. It's very important that you mustn't sell them without the license. We are getting, we are working on getting more patents now, right now. The wheels are turning. Haley's in. The wheels are turning. Um, uh, what you could do is ring the call centre, put it on your wish list, if you could do that. Um, but we are definitely, definitely working on getting some more. If that doesn't happen today, it will happen. And obviously, Cheryl will be back. <laughs> because obviously, you will want to meet Ollie and, and Molly. Molly. <laughs> Ollie and Molly. Right. Was there something else you were going to go on to then? I interrupted. Um, uh, I was just going to say that, you know, well, that you the shoes if they bought the all fabric kit the shoes are um, actually included as well now these shoes I just buy these shoes from a, a well-known retailer and they are baby's shoes for right. 0 to three months and they fit the dolls perfectly so all the dolls that you see in front of you today they're all wearing baby's shoes right so you haven't actually got to make your shoes and the socks are just general socks uh, again 0 to three months or newborn socks and we just sew uh, the tip of the toe in um, and then that creates a little sock uh, to fit her. Again, it's all clearly explained of in course. the book. Of course. So let me just explain. Uh, they're all sold out and we will be getting more in. But what you bought from us today was you bought this, which is the instructions book and the template, right? Then what you need to do is when you got it home and read through it and decided what you want to do, you then go on to the, the Polly Dolly Doodah site and you choose the colour of your skin tone and the colours of your hair and you order that as a kit from the website. That's right. And in that kit, you get everything. And you it's called All Fabrics for Polly. All Fabrics for Polly. It's about £49. That's right. Like £49, yep. pounds, right? All you, what you need to do is in that kit, you've got everything then. You don't get the pattern in that kit, obviously, but you've got... The, the the bandage, the yeah. wadding, the and you don't get the toy stuffing, do you? The toy stuffing. Yeah, you get the, oh, toy, you get the toy stuffing. stuffing you get well. absolutely everything. Oh my yeah. word, woman! You get the sewing thread to match the skin tone. Yes, but you, you get, get the, the doll elastic needle. Band, you, you get, get the, the elastic string. band. You get the crochet hook for making. Oh my word! <laughs> you get everything. I haven't left anything out. It's all there. So it's how all so fantastic? So you bought this from us today. You then choose which kit you want, and you you choose because you make the doll to whatever um, skin tone or whatever hair you want to, sort of thing. And then obviously. In that, now, in that kit, do you also get that dress fabric as well? No, they can choose. They oh, can choose. So, but they get dress fabric. They get gen dress fabric. My most popular fabrics. I'm trying just to because I had so many fat quarters. It was my, you know, my boxes were busting. Yeah, I they thought, so. you know what? I've got to reduce the fat quarters that I'm doing. So I'm only now doing um, this range here, which is. Um, a range that's proved really popular. So I've got this in the blue, I've got it in the pink, and I've also got it in the white. So you'll get the choice of the three colours. So, so colors. you not only choose the skin tone, you choose the hair colour, and you choose the, the dress, dress colour. The dress colour. Oh, we didn't talk about petticoat. Let, let oh, hang on, very yeah. quick. Oh, the petticoat, petticoat yeah. Oh, I, bet not, just, I don't know whether she's got any panties on. Oh. I know Polly has. You'll have so. us being shut down <laughs> if you're not careful. Yeah, so there you go. So you get the petticoat pattern is there. You get the petticoat fabric as well. And she's got her little panties on as well, um, which is also included. You get the fabric as that, for that, that as well. That is incredible. So Princess says, everything. what an absolutely brilliant tutorial. Thank you so much, Sewing Street, for bringing Polly, uh, bringing Polly to Sewing Street. You have no idea how happy you've made me. Sally Ann Harrison says, super cute. I'm completely hooked on this. So, so many brilliant messages. And our, t our time is up. Oh, yeah, it is. Uh, but that was so oh, brilliant. Thank you so I, much I, for having me. I've really enjoyed it. She arrived this morning going, oh, I'm so, oh, so nervous. nervous. I'm so nervous. I'll, I'll need water. I'll need water. I'll need, you know, like, oh, oh, I'm so, so no nervous. And <laughs> no point, no reason. No, you, you've been great. Thank you, John, so no, much for having me. My absolute pleasure. And please come back with Ollie yes, and Molly and yeah, whoever they're called. I will. Thank you so much. Very, very soon. <laughs> uh, thank you. And I'm sure your Facebook page now will be full of messages because all our ladies will go and start messaging you. So <laughs> if you did get it, we are working on... What? How many have we got? Right. Who does? Okay, right. I've, don't go anywhere. Don't go anywhere. I've got, I've, right. Have your computer or your phone ready, right? I can't, I'm going to tell you in a minute. We've got the pattern back. You can't buy it yet. You can't buy it yet. Wait one second. Cats, just put them in the computer now. We've got, now we've only got 30 more, right? So only got, is it 30, Cat? 30 more. I've only got 30 more. Now, you saw how quickly these sold out. Uh, half the stock had gone before we even did the show. In a minute. Don't do it yet. Don't do it yet. Are you ready? 
Go. Right, there are 30 more. There's 30 <laughs> left now. We will get more. I promise you we'll get more. But there's only, that's the new code. There's 30 more. You need, if you want this, you can go and get it now. If you missed out, because so many people missed out. Uh, oh, sorry, I've gone into my jewellery maker mode. Sorry about that. <laughs> Lynn Twitt said, what a lovely lady. Isn't she gorgeous? And you see, Hayley said to me, to us on the, I said yesterday, we, none of us had met each other. And ten left, ten left. And Hayley said, oh, John, you're going to love her. You're going to love her. She's adorable. <laughs> you are totally oh, adorable. Thank you. Absolutely thank you so adorable. Much. And I, I kind of thought, oh, she'll be a bit mad being a, a doll maker. Well, you are a bit I'm just mad, normal. Yeah, I am. Yeah. <laughs> well, my children would say I was mad. Yeah, exactly. And she's got lovely, and she's got lovely nails. That's all, the only oh, thing I kept looking all the way through it. It's like, oh, I've sold out. Sold out, sold out, sold out. God, what right. was that, two minutes? <laughs> that, that, again. that was in two minutes, that sold out. In less than two minutes. And we've never seen the phone lines like that before. Right, we're going, we're going now, we're going now, we're going now. Thank you so much. Thank you for Safe having me. Safe journey home. Thank you. Um, and I will be back in three minutes with Rebecca Harrison and we're going to be making the skirt with the buttons on from the Sussex Seamstress. Go nowhere. Miss the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. If you'd like to get in touch with us during our live show and send in any messages or any questions, then you can do it on studio at sewingstreet.com. Alternatively, you can message us on our official Facebook page. If you're a Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. In need of a crafting fix? There are so many ways you can watch Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Sewing Street is live from 8am to 1pm every day on Freeview 72 and Sky 670. Alternatively, if you want to watch us on a tablet or on the move, you can tune in on our YouTube channel, the Sewing Street app, or the websites at www.sewingstreet.com and www.yarnlane.com. You can watch past shows on Sky 670 from 1pm every day, as well as our YouTube channel, the app, and our website. Yarn Lane is on from 12pm to 1pm. Visit our programme guide to find out when and what's on. So you never have to spend a minute without us. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet. Then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere. Browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals. And message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. to get in touch with us during our live show and send in any messages or any questions then you can do it on studio at sewingstreet.com alternatively you can message us on our official facebook page if you're a sewing street or yarn lane customer no matter how many times you check out in one day you will only pay one postage and packaging so don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. In need of a crafting fix? There are so many ways you can watch Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Sewing Street is live from 8am to 1pm every day on Freeview 72 and Sky 670. 
Alternatively, if you want to watch us on a tablet or on the move, you can tune in on our YouTube channel, the Sewing Street app, or the websites at www.sewingstreet.com and www.yarnlane.com. You can watch past shows on Sky 670 from 1pm every day, as well as our YouTube channel, the app, and our website. Yarn Lane is on from 12pm to 1pm. Visit our programme guide to find out when and what's on. So you never have to spend a minute without us. Don't you worry, we'll find you. But I'm having to tell her what to do now, Rebecca Harrison. I don't know. I remember her when she was a shy, retiring little thing making costumes. And now look at her, diva with ruffles and everything. And oh, now, yes, now she's been spotted. We can't find it. Somebody put on Facebook, John, I'm sure I've just seen Rebecca Harrison, right? Now, I thought it said in a supermarket car park, but apparently it was a campsite car park. Or something. It was her. It was her. It was me. If it was if it was Devon South Moulton, yeah. then it was me. There you go. Somebody spotted you. But oh, you should have come over. I know. Uh, I, I say hello. that because people say, oh, I saw you loved your shoes. I thought, why didn't you come and say hello? hello. Oh, good good tell her. Good tell her. <laughs> anyway, it was her. Uh, we couldn't find the message. So if you're watching, let us know who it was, but it yeah. was definitely her. And exactly where. Oh, yes. And was she shouting <laughs> at her children? I probably the dog? was, or yes. shouting at the dog. Yes. Oh. <laughs> it was the dog that gave it away, was it? Because Kat said, oh, somebody thinks they've seen you. And then they mentioned the dog. She went, oh, that was me. Yeah, black Not and white dog. Not mention the children no. or where she was, just no. the dog. Black and white spaniel. Oh, right. Okay, this <laughs> is what we're making this hour. Jeremy, picture, please. There we go. This is what we're making. It's a Sussex seamstress Southwark skirt. Paper pattern, sizes 8 to 26. Uh, there it is. It's buttoned through. It's got lovely pockets on. Those pockets are very, very flattering pockets. Lovely, deep pockets. Oh, thank you, Jeremy. Lovely, deep pockets there. I love that corduroy. I think the corduroy is beautiful. I've got that coming up in a bundle in a second. Um, I just I just think it's lovely. There you go. There's, now, if you knew there's lots of buttonholes, don't be frightened by the buttonholes, but the corduroy isn't the buttonhole's best friend. So if you're going to buy the corduroy, you know what I'd do? I'd do a buttonhole at the waist and then I'd do those heavy duty, not poppers, but like the things you get on jeans and everything like that going down the front. Because they're sturdy enough for a skirt, aren't they? And then you can just, if, if, only because the corduroy and buttonholes are, are the best of worlds. Best of times aren't the best friends with each other. Anyway, here we go. So here's the pattern. It's £15.50. pence. It's a Sussex seamstress. Southwark, it's called. Southwark, Southwark. That's not how you spell Southwark in London, is it? Southwick. Maybe Southwick. I thought first of all, I thought I it meant Southwick in London, but that's Southwick, isn't it? Southwick. Do you I think. think it is? I think so. Yeah. Oh, 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 I'm being told by everybody now. It's Southwick. <laughs> we didn't mention that in prep. We didn't mention prep, but now it's Southwick. Okay, where is Southwick? Uh, uh, Jane's watching. Jane, message me. It's in Sussex, is it? Well, she's the Sussex seamstress, yeah. But is it in Sussex though, Jeremy? It might be in Norfolk. It sounds like a Norfolk name to me. Anyway, if anyone knows, let me know. Let me know. Let me know. Right, that's the pattern. Size is 8 to 26. Really good size range. West Sussex it's in, Jeremy. West Sussex, apparently. Right, I'm rolling my sleeves up now because we mean business now. Right, so that's the pattern. I've got bundles of fabric, as you can see. Bundles galore. So the one it was made out of is this lovely, tealy, soft, turquoise -y. Uh, is it eight? Is it eight whale? Let's have a look. It can't be. Is it four point five whale? Oh, aqua four point five whale. Oh, that's um. Oh yeah, I suppose it is. Like I call that jumbo cord then, almost, wouldn't you? Oh, sorry. So this is a bundle of two meters. It's wide as well. This isn't it? Lovely and wide. This cord, right? Yeah. Now, remember, they've already been cut. So if you if you bought two of these for four metres, you will get two two-metre pieces. It won't be joined together as a one four-metre piece. But it's lovely. I, would, I don't know if I'd call it aqua, to be honest. What colour would you call that? Mm, oh, it's only because the this. next one's called teal, so I can't call uh, this one teal. This is two metres of four-and-a-half whale corduroy, 24 99 Now, even if you're not going to make this skirt... Oh, Claire says, I love your honesty. What was said now? <laughs> oh, no, about the buttonholes. No, no, no. Because yeah. the because it's like we were saying, but the dolly just then, the buttonholes are the last thing you're going to do. I would hate for you to make a complete skirt, love it, 
and then have issues with the buttonholes. It's got a what? Oh, you, you couldn't put a zip in that. Where would you put your zip? No. Right up the middle? No, no, Cap, no. Not a fat quarter, look, this is how wide it is, look. Look, 55 inches wide. I love it, I love it. Two meters for 24 pounds and 99 pence. I'm gonna have to, please sell. How many? Oh, three, good, because I won't get there to fold that up. <laughs> Then we've got the same, but in teal. It's a really lovely way. It's not, but even though it's like jumbo, it's not heavy. It's a lovely, lovely feel to it. This is called teal, this one. It's not a fat quarter. Now, on my telly, it's looking royal blue. Hang on, can we look at it from that? There you go. It's not royal blue. It's a lovely dark teal, that one. Oh, ooh. 55 inches wide, two meters you get there for 24.99. Okay. Cat saying it's a lovely colour for all seasons. I'd say it was autumnal winter just because the weight of the wool, uh, the weight of the, the, the corduroy. Actually, having said that, it's not a heavy, it's not a heavyweight corduroy at all. It's a beautiful corduroy, that one. Sonia's busy making Christmas decorations today. Lovely. Keep going through for that one. They're the only two corduroys I've got. Uh, we've got some denim. Now, I'm going to show you all four together, uh, four, all three together. So you can see the different colourways, right? So with these are the three colourways of denim we have. I'll just put it in shot for Jeremy. Right, so we've got light, medium and dark, right? Two metre bundles again. Which one would you like to do first, Cap? Light one first. So again, two metres of your denim. It's nice. I'm thinking 1980s. Yeah. <laughs> Not that you remember the 1980s, Rebecca. Oh, no, we were working no. together in the 80s. No, no, I was at school in no, the 80s. You <laughs> no, Secondary, you though. Eh? Secondary. Yeah. So. I've been left school for it. I'd finished my first degree. Oh, no, I finished both degrees. In, no, first degree. I'd no, not in the until 80s. the late 80s, sure. No. So I finished my first degree in 81, and, and then I finished yeah. at Wimbledon in 83. Yeah. Oh. Anyway, 1899, two metres of denim. They've called it medium heavy. Let me just feel because they often get this wrong. It's not medium heavy. I'd say it was a four ounce, wouldn't you? Yeah, it's it's a four heavy. ounce. Okay, now the medium one, medium color wise. This is the 90s. This one's taking me back to the 90s <laughs> now. A medium blue. Right, so okay, I'm saying this takes me back to the 90s. That's when Kat and Jeremy were born. Oh. Oh no. <laughs> Don't. Oh dear. You see, you know Dul Dulcie, Dul yes. my friend Dulcie, yes. who you used to work with, we all used to work together. Um, Dulcie and I met 40 years ago, next week, because we started at Wimbledon School of Art. For, next week, well, beginning of 4th of September, wow. we met 40, we went for our walk on Sunday, and we were like, oh, 40 Dude. years. It's scary when you work terrifying, it out, isn't it? Terrifying, isn't it? Absolutely <laughs> flipping terrifying. And I, the thing is, we both were talking about the first day walking into that room at Wimbledon and the smell of the room and who was in there. We could remember every single person that was in the class, what we were getting up. I mean, it was yeah. 40 years. And yeah. yet, like, they were saying, who was your guest last Tuesday? Was I even in last Tuesday? You know, like that. Rubbish. This is lovely. This is gorgeous, this dark blue again. It's, it's four ounce, it's not eight ounce, it's not eight ounce. It's definitely four ounce, that one. Dark blue, that's lovely, I like this one I'd get. Two meters and then, for your 18.99. Then we've got some linens, well then we'll get on with some sewing, I promise, and stop reminiscing about 40, 40, <laughs> how, I don't even feel 40, so how can it yeah, be 40 okay. years ago? Here we go. Yeah, do you want this one first? Oh, you got this one. The, the pink code is UILJ56. Right, hang on a second. This, yeah. <laughs> you buy this one here, first of all. This is stonewashed linen in denim colour. It's not denim. Look at the lovely uh, texture of this one. DG6696. Which, right, we can't find the pink one at the moment. Oh, the pink one sold out, that's why. Look, that interesting, t that, look at the texture in there. 
They won't. Why not? Stone. This is a bit crease, this one. Was I envisioned when I pulled that face? Oh, I was putting the face about the fabric. 22.99. Yeah, we haven't known this one, Jeremy. Je did you not realise it's part of your job, Jeremy? Yeah. <laughs> 22, 19, that's why I went to Aberystwyth University to learn how to iron. <laughs> oh, did Jeremy not go there as well? Oh, sorry. The Central, uh, University of Central, Central Lancashire, never heard of it. Right. Come on then, let's do some sewing, Rebecca Harrison. <laughs> and some reminiscing. <laughs> right, now tell me, is it quite an easy pattern to do? I love your top, by yeah. the way. Oh, and your, and your, and your you. um, necklace-y thing that you, did you thank make that yourself? You. No. Either of them? No. <laughs> I love it. No. You look fantastic. My daughters don't, really don't like this. I was so excited. I came home and I went, look what I've got. And they went, ooh. I went, oh. How old are they? <laughs> 19 and oh, 12. Oh, it's a bit too old to slap, slap their back of their legs. Then. Not that I condone any sort of violence. but mm. Oh, what? I like a good sleeve. Yes, I think it's lovely. Oh, thank and yeah, it's looking amazing as well. Thank you. Anyway, that's that. That's <laughs> that Is it how no, good? No, keep going. Keep no, going. no, no. We've had it. Now. That's it for a whole week now. Yeah. Um, easy, hard, mediocre. What is it? I'd say about medium. Right. Because you, if you're a complete beginner, you've got the the pockets. Not that they're difficult, but you just just need to take take your time over them. So I'm going to show that. Uh, step by step yeah. um, and then buttonholes if you've never done a buttonhole before it could be um, a bit yes. a little bit daunting for you but it's just practice isn't it exactly. scrap bit of fabric mm -hmm. and keep practicing yes. um, and I mean buttonholes now on these sorts of machines oh, are nice and easy exactly, yeah. yeah so it's you know perfect I, I'd say give it a go lovely definitely give it a go lovely plenty of instructions. I was going to say in the instructions, I'm not going to open mine, but in the booklet you get lots and lots of instructions. Yeah, yeah, you, you do, yeah. So there's, like, yeah, there's plenty, there's plenty to, it's, it's everything is step by step, shows you exactly um, how to put it together and what you need to do, so, uh -huh. yeah. Uh, if you're Very watching simple. on the Facebook Live, you might be having issues because it keeps uh, pausing and stopping, mine does as well. Uh, oh, okay. Right. So, right. Where do we start? So, I'm going to start with the pockets right so I have let me show you that's I've done one of them sort of done one of them and then I'm going to take you through the other so you have your side skirt panel which will look like that so it looks so it looks like it's it's you've sort of cut it off right and then you've got what will be your pocket bag, which is that piece there. And then you've got the lower half of your side. Oh, I see. So panel. that all together makes the side. So panel. when you put it all together, it um, yeah, it all it all becomes. So um, I mean that that is it opened out all together. So it's a, it it looks. You think to yourself, oh. how on earth is that gonna make? A skirt, yep. but I'm, I'm going to show you. So I've done that one, and that goes up like that. But I'm going to show you exactly what to do step Brilliant. by step on this one. Excellent. So we'll just move that one to one side. So you start off with, you have the lower side piece, and what becomes your pocket bag, the inside. So if you, uh, you see that they fit perfectly. So if you put those two together and yep. just put them in place, and make sure that when you open it up, it does go at an angle like that. You, you need it to do that so that when you fold it back, it sits neatly yeah. like that. So let's just say, so you've got um, a centimetre seam allowance, which is what Jane usually has, unless otherwise stated. Right. So there's different <coughs> seam allowances for your hem. Um, that's it, I think, yeah. Oh, the hem and the, the centre front turnings yeah. is different. I'm just going to make sure that I'm on that centimetre. There we go. Now, you've overlocked all your pieces before. I have, I yeah, yeah. So, um, I mean, um, in the instructions, um, it says to 
do do your seam and then overlock, yeah. which is obviously, that's absolutely fine. You can do that if you want yeah. to, if that's the way you want to do it. I just... And if you haven't got an overlocker, you can use your uh, overstitch, over edge stitch from your machine, or yeah. you can do a zigzag or something yeah. like that. Yeah. Or the good old fashioned pinking shears. Yeah. Nothing old fashioned no. about pinking shears. No. Mind you, at Wimbledon, we were never allowed to use pinking shears. No, I don't think we were either. We were taught to LCF, think hand I'd... edge all, and if yeah. you didn't overlock, you had to hand yeah. edge all your seams. So let me give that a press. Other way up if you're going to press. Oh, oh yes. <laughs> it's all right. We've It'll already melt. had Bonder Web. We've had melt. irons on it melt this week. Melt the, uh, yes. Oh. Right, how do I get that off uh, there? You can, no, the, the design of that is you can use it with the base. If, oh, if do It's not you? too much hassle. Oh, there. okay. Got a message for you from a collector in Banffshire. Can the pocket bag, now, you've stepped one ahead of us, collector in Banffshire, can the pocket bag be made in another fabric, e.g. lining, for example? Yes, absolutely. I think that would be really lo lovely. Um, actually, what you could do, if you, you could, um, you could have a little bit showing. So the, yes. the, 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 um, the centimetre seam allowance, you could have above the, um, your stitch line. Just remember, if you were going to do that, to add your centimetre on at the end. So, so you'd have to add an extra centimetre onto your pattern piece. Yeah, so if you bought um, on these fat quarters from earlier, yeah. that'd be big enough, wouldn't it, for yeah. the two pieces? Yeah, it'd be Because what, I would, what I'm thinking of as well, oh, you'd easily get those, that's yeah, there. Yeah, but easy. then you could also have covered buttons down the front and cover those yes. as the same fabric. I maybe. think that would be really lovely. Good question there, yeah. collector from Banffshire. Yeah, very good question. So then what I've done is I've pressed my seam um, over to the pocket bag side mm -hmm. and then I'm going to top stitch. It just means that when you um, press that seam back, it will stay in place and it's not going to... Oh, oh. which side are you top on stitching on? on? Is it top stitching or top stitching? Yeah, I'm top, sti I'm top stitching on the pocket bag side. Right, okay. Again, if you do it in the denim, you could use the, um, for all the top stitching, you could use like a denim, you know, gold thread, like yes. a denim pair of jeans or yeah, red be, or something yeah. like that. Yeah, that would be really lovely, actually. Just make that a bit bigger. That's it. So there, so like that. So you've got your edge there uh -huh. stitched. And then if you push that over, let's give it another little press. A message from Anne in Cheshire. Uh, hi guys, Rebecca, if the buttonholes are too scary, you could sew buttons on top and poppers underneath. Yeah, absolutely. You could make sure yeah. they're sturdy poppers though, Anne, because yeah. you don't want to sit down in your Starbucks and for them all to go. Pum, 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 yeah, exactly. You sit down. Yeah, you need. Well, you might want that to happen, Anne. I don't know what <laughs> your Starbucks is like up there in Cheshire. Or other coffee shops are available. <laughs> Jeremy didn't go for Starbucks this morning. It was his turn, wasn't it? Um. <laughs> okay, I okay can so, can yeah, can it, so normally we take it in turns to go to Starbucks. Me, Kat, or um, Emma on the other team take it in turns in the morning to go to Starbucks. It was Jeremy's turn this morning and he and didn't, he didn't offer. And he said he was waiting for us to ask him what he wanted. He's a guest. Oh. Hello. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Shocking. 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 Right, so now you're going to join your two, your two pieces together. So the bottom of your pocket bag, yeah. you're going to do the bottom of this uh, little panel, which, which is, this is, this is the waist. Yeah. So this is where you pop out. And that's, that edge there is your side seam. Perfect. Um, so you're going to place... The pocket bag to the end of But again, there. it's going to look like it's going at a funny angle, isn't it? Yes, yes. So that, that, that will look like that until you turn it the right way yeah. round. I think once, once you've done one of these, then you'll be away, really. Because, yeah. they, they, I mean, it is, I think it's the thought of it more than oh, anything no, totally, else sometimes totally. you know if if you've not if you've not done a pocket like this before it's really lovely skirt a cat was saying she if she did it she'd make it a little bit shorter for her 
And um, I'd say uh, some of my ladies would like it a little bit longer. And it's not difficult to lengthen, is it? No, no. Just follow the, the line of the pattern. Yeah. And just follow what the pattern does because um, Jane does, um, on her, the hems of her pattern, she angles them. Right. So that, because obviously your hem isn't completely straight. So if I just show you. So on the bottom, I don't know if you can see there. So that's, this is, this is the center front. This is where your buttons will go. Yeah. But there's a slight angle there. Right, where it folds back. Where it folds because yeah. because that's that's your fold line. So you're folding that back so mm -hmm. so that that fits neatly on there, and then on got it on here, haven't I? On the side back panel, I don't know if you can see that as well. That that yeah. goes oh, yeah, in. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. goes in as well. So if you're going to extend, just make sure that you add in those little details because it'll make it easier for yeah. you to finish off. Yeah the bottom so yeah so that's that now this is where the fun starts so place that so it so it, it fits nicely so it's not puckering or anything yeah. and then bring this piece down uh -huh. and all you've got to do is match up those side seams put a pin in is there a knot? Is there a notch anything on the yeah, pattern? There's, yeah, there's, there's, yeah, there's, there's, there's every, there's lots of notches yeah. to um, to make sure that you've got it all in the right place. Go on then. Question from Pam. I always worry about losing the notches for matching if I overlock first. Any tips, please? <gasps> Pam in Manby, where I used to live. I went to Grimby County Primary, Pam. R.E.F. Manby. Anyway. Um, yeah, I would um, just make sure when, when you do your chalk lines or however you're going to do it, just make, make sure that you, you know, don't, don't just do a little line at the end, come in a little bit. Right. So that when you do your overlocking, you've still got that mark there. I think as well as a lot of people do a little snip. We were taught not to do snips. Yeah. Um, but a lot of people do a little snip where the notch is. We mark where the notch is with a chalk line or a attack. We used to do a tacking yes. stitch, didn't yeah. we? Literally, we, we'd take it from the notch in about an inch or thing, so you knew exactly where it was. So even if you overlock the edges down, you've still got the mark of where your notch is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rather than just a little outwardly bit or a snip, because you are going to lose that yeah. during, during um, yeah, overlocking. Yeah, definitely, there. yeah. So when, when you put this together, you can see that it's yeah, it doesn't match. slightly bigger. That's because that's what I, I really like about uh, Jane when, when she does her pockets, because I've done, I can't remember what it was, I've done something before and she does the same with this. Yeah. So all you do, do is match up that side seam and that gives you that little bit of ease because there's nothing worse than having a pocket and then you not can't get your hands actually in. able to use it. That's a brilliant idea. Yeah. So, so don't panic. Don't cut it off. Yeah. No, no, no. Match the two uh, seams, the two edges, and it means that the pocket isn't laying flat. You can see there it there. Go. The pocket's not laying flat. So you against can get your hand in nice and easily. How brilliant. And it's, and it's, you know, it's deep enough. Yeah. You can get your hands in there. Well, it's a, that's what a pocket's meant yes, to do. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. It's not decorative. Yeah. It's functional. Yes is what we like so I'm just going to anchor those in place I'm just going to stitch them down so that when I come to join the uh, side seams together they're not yeah. going to move yeah nice deep pockets cat saying a bit like Jeremy's <laughs> deep pocket <laughs> short arms <laughs> can I let him forget that <laughs> uh, is it their dad's uh, Jeremy just so you know Jeremy and cat are brother and sister uh, it was their dad's 60th, oh, those two in there, their brother and sister, yeah. And it was their dad, Terry's 60th birthday this weekend. Um, oh! Oh, it was just his party. Oh, no wonder he was, no wonder he was surprised. It wasn't even his birthday weekend. I thought, oh, he'll guess. He'll guess that they're taking him out for a drink and everyone will be waiting for him. Oh, it's not his birthday for two weeks yet. <laughs> so what are you buying him for his birthday, then? Uh, so uh, does he know this? Okay, so Kat's sporting tickets to Alton Towers. He's 60, right? <laughs> and Jeremy? Does he know? 
I won't say it then, in case he's watching. And you're going to wear... Oh, they're going to, does he know that? They're going to Adam's, the Michelin star restaurant for dinner, or for the actual birthday. Oh, I'll come oh. to that one. I'll come to that one. They went on a pub crawl, you see, and I don't really like pub crawls because I don't drink and I don't like pubs. Uh, but I'll go to, I'll come to Adam's with you. That's fine. Where's Adam's? It's in Birmingham, isn't it? Is it? Yeah. Mm. Just off Victoria Square. Lovely. Miss doing that. So I'm just doing the same again yeah. on the other side. Message from Kate. Such a good pattern. A pocket you can't get your hand in is worse than no pocket at all. Loving the demo and the chat from Kate in Merseyside. Yeah, she's right, isn't she? What well, about yeah. the chat or the pocket? The pocket. No, because one lady, one lady, there was a, 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 there's the most lovely, I have to say thank you to all of you who've written on it. On the Facebook fan page, it, it's waking me well up thinking about it. There's the most lovely strand about me and it's so, it's so humbling oh, and touching, right? About lovely. how people love watching me and how yeah. I've kept them going through lockdown and everything. And then one woman was going, don't watch anymore. Too much, not enough saying, too much, um, what was it, chatter? Uh, it, you know, kind of, it, not in jokes, but too much. I can't remember what the word was she used, but I was like, all right, fine. Fine, we're all open to opinion. I don't mind, wasn't offended. But I remembered it. Yeah, Jeremy. Who worked here first then? Sorry? Who worked here first then? Jeremy or Kat? Uh, well, we all worked, at, well, we all worked at Rocks & Co together. Ah, okay. So um, Kat's much, much younger than Jeremy, you see. So she was at school when we first started Rocks oh. & Co. But, oh. um, <laughs> so Jeremy was first really because he came to Roxco first then we went to saying quarter Jeremy came there first and then when he couldn't do a shift he'd send his little sister in to do it oh and now she's higher up the ladder than he is she's the producer and he's the daily oh. do we do we not mention that do we just, don't, don't do mention we to Jeremy. just uh, glaze over that bit yeah. okay fine so there's your center back down there, so you, so you do your centre back on the fold, yep. because obviously it's a front opening. Of course. So I'm just going to um, attach the side seams. There we go, I'm just looking for my notches, there they are. There they are, you didn't lose them then with your overlocking. No, they faded a bit in transport, but yeah. they're still there. Jeremy said, if you did it with a friction pen, you could put the skirt in the freezer and they'd recharge. <laughs> He's full of little hints and tips like this, Jeremy. <laughs> He's a sewer then. <laughs> <laughs> no, he just listens and remembers the bits he wants to remember. Please, oh, Sonja, please don't ever change, John. I won't, don't you worry. June says, isn't it awful? We remember criticism, but not the praise. Oh, yes. Thank you, June. I'm only, jo I'm only joking. It didn't, if it didn't upset me, I wouldn't be mentioning it. But I just thought it was funny that on a strand, why bother writing? I don't watch anymore. It's, you know, kind of too much chit chat, not enough sewing. It's like, well, don't write, don't need to write it, do you really? No. I've had worse said about me, June, so it's fine. <laughs> I've not been on that one for years. Right, so I'll just run down those mm -hmm. seams. This is a nice little project. I imagine it's quite a quick project once you get going on oh, it. Oh yeah. Yeah, once you've yeah, once you've got your done your pockets, which you can see didn't take very long. No. Um yeah, no, it is. It's a it's a really lovely and none skirt. And not the look difficult to cut out or anything. No. So. No, they're not. Is the seam allowance included on the pattern? Yes. Jane, yes. Yeah, and on, on the pattern, as um, if you caught a glimpse of it, so you've got on the centre front where it shows you exactly where the buttons go. Yeah. So she's marked all that out. She's marked the, the seam allowance. Hang on, let's just look at that, Jeremy. Yeah. So she's marked the seam allowance and the seam allowance for your hem because right. because those two are different. Yeah. To um, 
to the one centimetre seam allowance all the way round. Brilliant. Yeah, so just, just keep referring to your pattern really and mm -hmm. the book. It's lovely to sew with this denim. Yeah, oh yes, I think I think really uh, all lovely. the fabrics got to stay are lovely ones. Yeah, to sew they with, are. Definitely. Yeah, yeah, the cord is so soft. Yes. Uh, how are we doing on stock on the cord? <sighs> Two of the aqua bundles left. Oh, and well, quite a few of the teal. Nine of the well, I'd say quite a few. Nine. They won't last the day. So the um, on the pattern is that denim on the pattern there? Looks like yes. a grey fabric, but it's maybe it's a grey. I think denim, it's denim. Yeah. yeah. So it's lots of panels. Yes. But I quite like that because it may also it may always looks flattering. It's once the, you put yes. It together well, it's a lovely it's a lo it's a lovely shape around yeah. the body. So but there's no difficult there's no difficult seams, are no. they? They're all just straightforward seams. No, they are. Say that again. Thank you, Anne. Thank you, Lulu. Got a message from Lorna on the bottom. Good morning. Superb, useful demo today. John, you can't please everyone all the time, but pleasing the majority is enough. Wink from Lorna in Dundee. <laughs> I learnt that. I tell you, you taught me that. Well, no, they didn't teach me that. Well, no, they did. Jonathan from Angels, right? used to say to me, he hated me for years, right? And he used to say, you can't be everything to everybody, you know, you can't be everyone's friend. And I'd be like, well, I don't want to, but you know, don't. And then he was learning that lesson from him saying it, shouting at me once. We're friends now, we're friends now, but. <laughs> oh, Mo in the Highlands sent a message in, look. Oh, Lovely to watch Highlands. proper dressmaking. That's you? She's talking oh, about. thank you very much. Some of much. us remember Taylor Tax and, and Whisper It Tacking. Oh, and yes. even trying on garments for fit before mat machining from Mo in the Highlands. Mind you, you are quite old, Mo, aren't you? She's quite old. Oh, do to throw it on the floor. <laughs> it's got a life of its own. <laughs> Highlands, gorgeous place. Very uh, lucky to live yeah, there. Yeah, so she, she used to sit in a hot tub and watch the dolphins twirling in the Firth of Forth. But then she moves house, and if she sits in the hot tub now, she sees Sainsbury's car park. <laughs> Not quite the same, yeah. is it? It's got a lovely oh, garden, though. Oh, uh, well, Sue says, makes me it. laugh to think how many of your ladies would happily handbag any trolls who make unpleasant comments, <laughs> mate. Yes, thank you, Sue. <laughs> no, we don't condone any handbagging here. Only if you're making it. Oh, yeah, if you're making it, that's fine. That's a different story. Right. Okay, so that's that's your back put together. Yeah. So now we'll get the front panels done. So what I'm going to do, actually, I need that back again because I've got some interfacing to put on down down the button stand. So when you put this on, it needs to be a centimetre in. Mm -hmm. Get right now. I'm going to turn this down. Right, OK. Because the other day I had mine too, oh, no, too hot and it went oh, all over no. it. It's good though, because it was, it was the blue, you know, the blue one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Style I yeah, got, yeah. I had. Brilliant. Oh, came off straight. Yeah. oh, brilliant. Came off straight away. It was fantastic. Let's see if we do it again now. Then. Yeah. Oh. Don't do that. Well, Thank you. Talking to her, I am now. Talking to me, I am. Okay. Got a message while you did that message from Maureen. Love this demo. Great to hear the pocket is put together for Maureen in Gloucestershire. Thank oh. you, Maureen. Well, I think you might, if you hadn't, you don't see it done, you might look at that pattern and think, it, oh, oh yeah. that's not for me. Yeah. But it is. No, yeah, it is. It's a lovely, it's a really lovely classic design. Yeah, as well. it is. Remember, it comes in sizes 8 to 26. 
which is a fantastic uh, size range. It is. While I'm here, I'm just I'm going to press that centimeter in. Okay. Because that'll help later on. Mm -hmm. Oh, who was it? Tara, did you say? Tara, my mate Tara. That's it. I'm going to put that one to one side. Let's do the other one. I've steamed all the table. Uh huh. That's fine. <laughs> Need some cleaning. Oh no, I cleaned it. No, you clean, you, you clean it, don't you? Always. Yeah, it's part of my job as a presenter. You have to clean the table between yeah. guests. Oh. Yeah. I know you're still having to do that. Hmm. Still having to do that. Yeah. Yeah. Can, yeah we're being very. We're still doing our. We all still all test twice a week as yeah, well. Yeah, that's good though, isn't it? Don't we, cat? I've noticed all your pieces of overlock being sewn. I tried this. Oh, here you go, but I lost all the notches. How do you mark your notches so you can still see them? Well, so we just mentioned that about make, make draw your notches in further. Don't just cut little snips because you will lose those. But we uh, both, um, uh, Rebecca and I, use a tracing wheel and tracing paper. Yeah. And that's so you get a little dotted line where it is so you don't lose it completely. Yeah, I don't know if you can see. Got a little dotted line there. Oh, hang on, Jeremy's coming in on there now. Mind you, I've used blue on blue. Why didn't you use your No, orange? red. Oh, is it red? Yeah, it's red. Oh, yeah, you can see it now. We're coming in. Can coming see? in now. There it is, look. Yeah. Little. Yeah, so little I've, red. So I've come in about an inch yeah. from, the, yeah. um, from the edge. And that will just fade away yeah. in time. A bit of tailor's chalk or as some of Oh, yeah, said, I've got a bit, tailor's a chalk. Tack, that's good old-fashioned tailor's chalk. The only yeah, thing, great, the tailor's chalk is. does stick around, but you just have to be careful. You, if you're kind of like going to be travelling with it, like Rebecca's, if she'd done hers with tailor's chalk, it might have come off. Yeah. You, Oops. you get three tailor's chalk. I'll put it down. Three tailor's chalks for three ninety-nine. <clears throat> Do you want it there or there, Jeremy? Oh, honestly. You see, he's only in every now and then. He forgets which button to press. When he does his football or his um, snooker, Antiques roadshow or crafting. He doesn't really understand this, does he? And we get three of those three notes. This is a good old fashioned tailor's chalk. So now I'm going to do uh, put my side seams right. together from um, on the fronts. Well, it's not the side seam actually. It's the it's this mid seam here. Oh, mid centre seam. Yeah. <clears throat> now, do you have to be careful that you don't catch the fullness of the pocket in this one, or is it all right? Is it enough away? Yeah, it's it's enough away, but obviously um, check it. Yeah. Keep checking it and pulling it over to one yeah. side. The mid colour, the 1980s denim, is the most popular one. Oh, this one? Oh, no, 90s. Uh, this is, is this 90s? 90s. That was yeah. our 90s, wasn't it? Yeah. 18 99 for two metres, that bundle. Make sure you check out your basket. Yeah, it's quite um, quite thick going over. Yeah. Uh, Jojo says, morning all. Love the demo and love, love, love the corduroy and the fact the pattern size is so inclusive. However, I'm near the top end of sizing and no longer have a waist, so can't wear skirts anymore. But if I could, I'd definitely wear, make and wear this. Oh, um, there must be a way. I, mean, I know we had a, I had a lady when I did um, Under Milkwood and had an actress in it who literally was, her bust, her waist and hips were the same measurements. Yeah. And we had to put her in a tweed skirt. And in the end, I had to make like a dungaree you didn't ever see, you didn't even see the top half, she had a blouse on, but you had to make her like a dungaree style thing so that she could wear the skirt and it sat on her waist because she literally was exactly the same measurements up and down. I don't know, Kat, do you? Kat says sometimes you just want to wear a skirt. Uh. <laughs> don't you wear skirts? I don't. At do, you all? Know, do you know I don't? Not very often. Or do you wear dresses? No. No? Not very often. I've got wardrobe full of both. And you never wear and them? And I never wear them. Oh. I should. 
haven't so, really had the summer yet, have so we? Wet n not really, no. <laughs> cats cats are fascinated by the fact you go camping. It's not camping, camping, is it? Well, I used to. I used to do tent, every take everything. Oh, yeah. good Lord. Yes. Now what do you do? Now, now it, well, this time we went in a, a static van on, oh, okay, on yeah. a site. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Because it was... Uh, did you all go? Easier, yes. And the children didn't fight? What's the matter? What's um, the no, no, I'm just, I'm just checking myself because I think I've put that in... Yes, I have. Put it on the wrong side. I've put it on the wrong Sorry, side. No, no. Um, yeah, they do, yeah. Yeah, need another holiday to get over that holiday. Yes, exactly. I'll be going back to school soon. Oh, no, hang on. No, no one, okay. one going to university. Yeah. Uh, one, going one, to one going to college. Yeah. And uh, one still at school. Oh, all changed then. It is a bit. Yes, it is. Um, yes. Sue says, loving the demo. Rebecca is amazing. Does she run oh. classes or have de dressmaking retreats? Oh, do you know, I have thought about this. Yeah. Yeah, I have. Um, and it, yes, I, I would, it's something that I would really love, love to do, uh -huh. actually. Um, so, yes, watch this space. Okay. You can, all go, all, you can all go and stay in the static caravan. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's not mine. Well, no, what you could do <laughs> is you could take, you could do it in like October or something. Long when it's weekend, not as busy. everybody stays in a, a, and then you teach in the big barn. That yes. Or something. Yes, yeah. Yeah, well, where I was had a really big, uh, like, restaurant. Yeah, you see, so you could do your classes so there you and everyone could. could then stay in the what's it. Oh, Sue says, count me in. Oh, lovely. All right, Sue, you're on. Yeah, and then Ju Jojo says, the menopause nicked my waist. Oh, Jojo, I know what you mean. Mine, since my, my menopause, it's, yeah, all I've gone over the place. Uh, I usually end up making <laughs> Empire Line maxi dresses. Oh, I bet you look gorgeous. Oh, those are nice. I though. bet you look yeah. fabulous in those. But I do very flattering. Nice skirt top. You got it right now. Yes, I've got it right now. <laughs> Goodness <laughs> sake, Rebecca. Yeah, you've only got an hour. I know. Get on with it. Right. Yeah. Just so, just just make sure that you've got your pockets going in the right direction. Oh, now Sally's saying a full circle skirt is good for fuller waists. See, my mum was apple shaped. She used to wear a lot of pleated, I mean, pleated skirts and blazers, my mum. Yeah, good old elasticated waist yes, as yeah. well, isn't it? Is, yeah. um, is quite good because it doesn't necessarily have to sit on your waist then, no, does and it? And also only put the elastic in the back. So the front stays trim, trim and neat and then yeah. all, the, all the work's going on around the back. Yeah. So oh, Morag says, count me in. I'll stay away. In my, I'll come in my caravan. Oh. There you go. There so you can have a this whole campsite. could be a holiday <coughs> as well as a sewing. Cat says she'd definitely could be come. Good. Oh, bless you, Cat. Yeah, she's only saying that because she thinks she'll give it up for free. <laughs> Maybe discount, eh? Yeah, mate's rates. Mate's rates. Does Cat not camp then? Do you not camp, Cat? She's as camp as any. Oh, I see what you mean. <laughs> Do you go camp, Julian? Go camping. Oh, they should go as a family. She doesn't go with her boyfriend. Oh. I'm going to say, I've got all the gear if you want it. Oh. <laughs> but uh, is Emma Bradford out camping at the moment? She put a picture that she was some camp. She does this weird camping where she's got a motorbike. And then the tent attaches to the top of the motorbike and it makes like a tunnel and she sleeps in the tunnel. That oh, the wow. Have you not seen the pictures? No, that's amazing. Yeah. You do, you do see some fantastic um, tents and I'd different things. I'd have to have one with an en suite and everything though. I couldn't yeah. you know. Yeah. The, my days of traipsing to the shower block are very well yeah. through the over. My parents have got a lovely camper van. Oh, have they? Yeah. They came with us. Oh, so they stayed in their, they stayed camper. In their camper van <laughs> and it was it was very good because the traffic was horrendous there and back oh, no. so at least we could stop and use their facilities oh i see <laughs> so you'd have to ring them on your phone going, yeah I need, I need yeah to we were like where are you <laughs> can you stop can you pull over oh 
Yes. It's because everybody's staying here, aren't they? Yeah. Which is the right thing to do, but... Apart from me, yeah. <laughs> Apart from you? Yeah, I'm off to Catalonia in two weeks. Are you? Is it two weeks? Oh, how lovely. Yeah, two weeks. No, it must be longer than that. Three weeks, I think it is. Oh, yeah, three weeks away. Is there no... There's no quarantine now, is there? Uh, you have to do your PCR or yeah. whatever the test is, no thing. Yeah. And I'm double jabbed. You're double I'm so jabbed, old. so yeah. yeah. Well, I'm double jabbed. Do what? I'm double jabbed. Well, I should think so too yeah. at your age. You have to exactly. look after the oldies. Don't exactly, we? yeah. Uh, My... Nikki's off camping oh. in a tent in September. Pam Minihardy says camping for me is a three star hotel. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, and Sue sold her motor home for a speedboat. Oh! Uh, she's she's got to go glamping, not camping. How brilliant! Now I also noticed who was it I was talking to this week going on a cruise, right? And I didn't think cruises were happening. Now it wasn't it wasn't there wasn't anyone here, but someone here going on a cruise. Oh, I, I, lovely Bex. No, it wasn't her, but um, but uh, anyway, I was asked just before all this happened, I was asked to host um, sewing, sewing holidays on river cruises around Europe. Oh. So hopefully that'll start up again now. Oh, that would be lovely. After, me after measure, after, not measure, um, email them and see if it's Yeah. Happening. Yeah, we're, well, perhaps not this year, but next year. Oh, no, 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 next we have to year, plan, don't yeah. we? I'll be buying my next year's calendar soon, so I need to put it in. <coughs> so I'm just pressing these over, and because because this is there's um, there's a bit of bulk there yeah. where the where the um, the pocket is. I'm pressing this seam just uh, over to one side because then it'll sit much nicer right, on okay, the on yeah. the body yeah. rather than you know op opening them up. Yeah. So now you come to the, your centre front. So we've already pressed over the one centimetre. Yeah. And then you've got four centimetres, which is the, the, uh, the width of your interfacing, uh -huh. to, um, to take over. So it's a nice thick um, for your buttons. There you go, just making sure. Okay. Carol sent in a message. Uh, good morning, John and Rebecca. Enjoying the demo. <coughs> I'd love to join in dressmaking day. Long way to get to you from Sutherland, though. Well, we could do it in Scotland. We could do. You Ooh, could do yeah. nationwide ones, couldn't yeah. you? Yeah. Yeah. I love Scotland. Do what, Cat? What about Derek's shirt? He wears a new shirt every time, doesn't he? Uh, Derek's the one that we listen to on a Monday night. He does singing from the borders. Away uh, next weekend in the caravan to a carriage driving event. I am taking the cats with me, though. Stay, staying in the Galloway Forest, says Morag. Oh, that sounds nice. Mm. How do the cats feel about that? Well, I used to take Norman and Ellie when they were Did first you? little. I used to take them away and they'd, you just have to take a litter tray with you. Oh, I suppose, I suppose if they'd done it from very young. Yeah, they didn't like it after a while. They'd get they used to it. Home after a while. Yeah, well. Like a home comfort they didn't like going in, As they got older, didn't like going to Catteries either. No. Right away. So Vicks, one year Vicks stayed in my house. Another year uh, Car uh, Carrie stayed in my house. And people just stay in my house when they lived there. and So the cats could stay at home while yeah. they were on holiday. Yeah, no, it's much nicer, isn't it? Yeah. I don't like putting the dog in no. kennels. So he traits everywhere with us. Well, Norman was never the same. You'd go and collect him and he'd be like, first of all, he wouldn't be talking to you because you'd left him there. But he was Big a bit traumatised each time he came home, Aww. you know. He was a very home cat. Yeah, Norman. well, they like their home comforts, yeah. don't they, cats? Oh, cracking, did they have home? Mind you, the, the, the um, cattery nursery that I used to put them in, they had, like, heated beds and all yeah, sorts I know. of... Well, yeah, some, but some animals just don't... Don't want to They just don't take to it, do they? Now. It's, um, yeah... yeah. 
So I'm just going to uh, top stitch this down. Yeah. Put my pins in the wrong way. Oh, what's the matter with you today? I know. Shocking. You just bought a house, Kate. You can't be going away on holidays. Oh. At least he's thinking about it. Right, I just got to fill you in on the conversation. So, Kat once said, told her boyfriend, I want to go on holiday next year. Could we bought a house this year. Definitely want to go on holiday next year. And he went. Uh, we can't do a holiday and an engagement ring in one year. Yeah, they've been together nine years. He's not... He, yeah, it'll be ten years. He's not going to propose to No? You. No. Is he just teasing you? Yeah. No. Yeah. <coughs> can't go back on that now, he no, said. Can't. Also, their friends... Uh, came around the other day and so we just got engaged because we've been together for five years and, and Liam was like, oh, we would have been together ten years next year. Should I have proposed by now? Oh, does he need to ask that question? No, exactly. He has too much of a comfortable life, that's the problem. Oh, it's too well looked after. Yeah. All the more reason. Yeah, exactly. To marry her. Yeah. She might say no, though, might she? Well, she might. She's saying nothing. Oh dear, okay. He could propose live on here, couldn't he? Let's, let's, let's no. just put that out there. People would get too confused. <laughs> <laughs> he should take tips off that Kieran. Uh, Vicky's husband of how to propose because his was a whole full on rom such a romantic gesture and flowers and candles and oh, music. Lovely. And There's a press. Yep. Yeah. It's just me the next hour, isn't it? <coughs> okay, because we we need to we'll need to finish up soon. Okay, right. Message from Kate saying, my hubby proposed after three weeks. On one knee in the snow, loon, still together though. Wow. Three weeks. Three weeks. Oh no, you see, I, th I still, oh no. That's lovely. That's lovely, Kate, but I'd be, yeah, she would have been 17 when she met him, you see, so three weeks after that. Okay, right, so now. Yeah, so you've got the back of the skirt. Side seams. So that one goes to there. Yeah. It took our son 10 years to propose and then the engagement lasted for five years. Oh, crikey, Lucy. He should have time to save for the wedding. <coughs> <laughs> But you aren't even engaged yet. Kat's always said she wants a long engagement, but not anymore. She meant to get in with him. We'll have been with him for ten years. Then if he wants another five years, she'll be ancient. <laughs> You'll have gone off him by then. <laughs> yeah, short engagement now. She's been together for a while. Yeah. Just think of the party. That's what he'll do. He'll just have a party. He won't buy a diamond. <coughs> Cat bought a citrine last week. Maybe that'll do. Cat's seen a yellow diamond that she quite like. Antique, pear cut. How much is it? Oh, that's not bad. She's supposed to, are you supposed to spend two months wages on it or something? I don't know what the, I don't know what the tradition is anymore. No. Uh, 
Oh, oh no, she doesn't just want him to buy it on its own. <coughs> she wants a day out in the jewellery quarter in Birmingham so she can point out which one she quite likes. Make sure you check out on your patterns now. While you're just saying that um, that um, um, seam, I'll just have a, yep. a catch up on the um, a roundup on the fabric as well. Oh, the pattern first. Pattern's here. Size eight to twenty-six. Sussex seamstress, the Southwick. You'll need seven buttons for the front. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, seven buttons for the front. Lovely pockets. Lovely deep pockets on the side there. Uh, yeah, and do your, do your, um, I would do the inside of the pocket, um, uh, uh, the inside of the pocket and maybe cover buttons down the front in like a Liberty or something like that. Very clear, very simple, Sussex seamstress, always very popular, sizes 8 to 26. Debbie's fiancé posed her on a boat trip on the River Seine in Paris. He was panicked so much because he'd booked a meal and rose petals, etc. And the taxi dropped us off at the wrong platform. We had to run for the boat in heels. What, your husband was wearing heels? <laughs> uh, it was very romantic. Anyway, fabric-wise, I've got this bundle here of the um, Aqua Cordroy, four and a half whale. There's only two of those left. That colour's lovely. That colour's perfect there. Then I've also got in the teal, which is a darker version. It's actually just a darker version of the aqua. Two metre bundle. $24.99. And your denims are your dark denim. Eighteen ninety nine. The medium denim, medium coloured denim, which is the most popular, the one we've been working with today. Two metres for eighteen ninety nine. They're all four ounce. They're not eight ounce. They're four ounce denim seas. And then you've got the paler blue, the washed blue, washed denim. Eighteen ninety nine for your two metres. Fabulous. Uh, oh yeah, and the interfacing we saw. Well, did you use which which interfacing did you use? Did you use the lightweight? Yes. Yeah, the lightweight. Yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. Lightweight interfacing there, just for down the front, and I'm presuming there will be some in the waistband. In the well. waistband, yeah. How do you do it, John? Get up early in the morning. I've only been up since six. I'm struggling already. Oh, tell me, Princess. The trouble is, Princess, when you get used to it, even on my days off, I was wide awake at half past four on both of them. Right. Yeah, so that's that's your skirt all together. Yeah. Looks lovely in the denim, doesn't it? It does. Jamie will show us now. So that's your, your button stand yeah. down the front, which folds over. And then... Your waistband, have we got time? No. No? Oh, just okay. think we can just talk us through it. Yes. So, um, your waistband, in, interface it. Yeah. Um, I've overlocked round um, and done my uh, one centimetre seam allowance on the edge there. And then just pop it. So, wrong side of the skirt, right side of your waistband and just... Pin it into place mm -hmm. all the way along, one centimetre, and then you'll bring it over, tuck that seam allowance inside, turn that through, and then top stitch along that edge right. um, to neaten it off. Mm -hmm. And then you can position your buttons. Okay. And then the hem? And the hem is um, three centimetres. So you go up a centimetre uh -huh. and then up two. So right. it's, a, it's a nice thick. Deep hem. Yeah, yeah it's, good. it's a good size hem. Um, and there you are, you're finished. Perfect. Ready to you're go. back in an hour and you're going to make your shift dress from the new book. The it's behind beginners. me, is it? The book's behind me there. It's not a new book, we've had it before, but we've got five pounds off. Five pounds off that book. Thank you very much That's indeed. Right. Uh, there's the dress we're doing in an hour's time. 
Uh, don't go anywhere because uh, after break, I've got brand new fabric florals. We will see you in three from now. Follow Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task and sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Well our family run customer service team are on call 24-7. They're full of friendly warm-hearted individuals all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and as enjoyable as possible. And not only will they take your order they will also help and guide you on your shopping journey so you never miss out. My name's Rebecca Harrison. Uh, my background is in theatre costume, so I've made uh, costumes for film, TV and theatre. Um, I began to sew when I was at school, in primary school, and I also uh, did a lot of sewing with my mum at home. Um, one of the first things that I ever made um, was this little mouse, um, and I hand sewed her at primary school. I think I was eight or nine. Um, when I did her, um, and I treasure her. She's uh, she, she's I just love her. Oh, her head's her stuffing's gone in her head, so she's a bit wobbly. Um, my favourite things to sew are corsets, um, probably because of my uh, period background. Um, but I just love them. I've got one here. Um, I love the structure of them, um, the shape the bones make. I, I just think they're beautiful. Um, and the fact that through the ages they've changed to uh, make women's shape different um, and I find that really fascinating. Um, my claim to fame is um, because I've obviously uh, doing costumes for film and theatre I've been lucky enough to meet um, a lot of famous people so um, I've met people like uh, Dame Judi Dench, uh, Kate Winslet, uh, Juliette Binoche uh, lots, oh gosh, lots and lots of people, lots more than I can probably, I haven't got time to say them all. Um, but yeah, just, and, and all around the building where I used to work um, in London, you'd see lot, lots of people, Christopher Lee, Sir Richard Attenborough, um, yeah, just lo lots and lots of people. Um, so it was, it was really lovely. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm, I feel very privileged to do what I do. I love my job and I'm very lucky that I get to do it every day. Um, and I really enjoy being on Sewing Street and uh, demonstrating um, how to make things and um, hopefully inspire you uh, to, get, to get sewing. Lots of lovely messages come through from Rebecca. What happens is that the, the Facebook messages are always so much later, so they came up during the break. Uh, Sheena says, excellent demo, Rebecca. Thank you. Uh, please never stop the chat, John. I love hearing your stories. Learn so much from your wealth of experience. Sewing Street is on every morning in my house. I feel like you're all old friends. That's what we are, old and friends. A uh, lovely clear demo, says Glennis. My uh, Facebook Live keeps cutting out, I'm afraid, so I hope yours isn't at home. Kurt said... Two months wages, crikey. I'd have been waiting a long time. We got engaged after three months and thought that was quick. Waited three years to get married and it's our 25th wedding anniversary next year. Oh, Kirsty. Yeah, it keeps, saying, it keeps coming up, Jeremy, saying, uh, interrupted, interrupted. Anyway. Oh, right it. Okay, right. I've got brand new fabric. It's beautiful. Really beautiful. I've got a mega bundle and I've also got it by the half metre. It's called Forage. I'd have thought of a better name than Forage myself, but there you go. You're getting half a metre for free. Half a metre for free. So £83.88 pence will get you 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 fabrics. You're getting one for free. 
Shall we have a quick look at it? So this is obviously your blender here. Your half daisies are obviously your blenders there. Then you've got, oh, got the, the same flowers again, but with a vine and I think that's slightly bigger on the dark green. That one doesn't come in another colourway. That's just in that colourway. Then we've got, now, are they pomegranates? Oh, <gasps> Craig, you what? Did you put a book, did you send the book up without a book stand? Just falling on the floor. So are they pomegranates or kiwis, do you think? Oh, passion, oh yeah, passion fruit, passion fruit. So the passion fruit comes in the lilac and the lemon. Now, I've had to got a feeling that I've seen this fabric before. This clover fabric. I love this clover fabric. Beautiful, isn't it? So you get the clover in teal and you get the clover in the purple. Then you get the bugs. The bugs by the half metre there. They come on the, the, the um, ecru and they come on the light blue. Then you've got, this is lovely, isn't it? The dandelion and the flowers and things like that. Now they're two different fruits, look. That's not the same fruit as that. Oh, it's a caterpillar. And the clover there. Same fabric on the white. Oh, that's nice. That's lovely, isn't it? Butterflies and flowers on the blue. Look at the coloured stems and everything. It's really lovely, that, isn't it? And then the same fabric, though, on the puce. That, well, these, I was about to say, these feel a bit Arnhem Marie Horner-esque, don't they, these? Right, that's, right, that's the Mega Bundle. So you get half a metre for free, right? So if you buy this for 83.88, you get all those fabrics, you get one for free. <coughs> They're already cut. They come like that. You get half a metre each. And in fact, quarter, you get half a metre of each, right? Now, I'm going to do them by the half metre. 100% uh, cotton, machine washable, quilting weight, 44 inches wide, Figo fabrics, forage flower bloom on fuchsia. Say that again. Oh, don't worry, 6 .99. 6 .99 for your half metre. Look, this is what your half metre looks like. Oh, yeah, dressmaking, definitely. Well, I say that, but imagine that on a border of a quilt. I've, I'd say it was more puce myself than fuchsia, to be honest. I'd say fuchsia was more pinky. This has got a bit of purpley blue um, in the mix here. Six, nine, nine. Now, for weeks and weeks and weeks, I've been telling you, oh, the fabrics are going to go up. The fabrics are going to go up. Six ninety nine for a beautiful cotton fabric for quilting or dressmaking. I know. Six ninety nine for half a metre. It's beautiful, isn't it? Now, what kind of flowers do you think they are? I'm not quite sure. Sweet pea? I think that's a sweet pea. That, that's not sweet pea. That's a petunia more than anything. Or convolulu. Anyway, flower bloom on fuchsia. 100% <coughs> cotton. Sarah Gordon designs are for Figo fabrics. Lovely, isn't it? I'm thinking, you know what? You can make a lovely wrap dress in that, couldn't you? That'd be really stylish. And then the winter wear it with black opaque tights and black court shoes. I'm thinking. Anyway, going to move on. It's called Wild Garden in Purple. The designer's called that Wild Garden. We've just called it that. those words there. Okay. So now I've also got Wild Garden in Aqua. Oh, see, that's lovely as well. That You see, I can imagine like a Prada dress in that or something like that. For hundreds, if not thousands of pounds. Oh, okay. Curtains. You can have it curtains. Which room have you got that that would go? Oh, your terracotta bathroom would go nicely. A blind. Maybe. We called it blue flower bloom on blue. It's actually called... Wild Garden, did you say? In Aqua. Aqua. It's lovely, isn't it? Okay, I'm going to do the bugs next. Bugs on blue. It's not Aqua. It's definitely not Aqua. Now you see a, a man shirt in that would be nice, wouldn't it? Unusual. 
<coughs> but nice. Well, yeah, they've got like, look at the bugs, they've got kind of like animal prints on them, haven't they? Maybe they look like that, I haven't seen it been that close. Right, so we've called it bug display on blue. It's actually called Garden Friends in Glacier. Garden Friends in Glacier. Uh, the thing is, if you saw a bug that big in your garden, you wouldn't want to be its friend, would you really? Imagine it flew into your hair. I have to say, when I, when, when I was living and working in South Africa, there were lots of bugs. You get used to them, but you've got to learn not to pick them up. Because when I first got there, well, no, no, when I first got there, I was on the farm where my costume department was. I was like, look at this lovely bug. It's all these bright colours. And the farmer just happened to come round the corner as I was about to pick it up. And he was like, don't pick that up. It's poisonous. So I didn't touch them after that. And we've also got it on cream. I quite like this one as well. Lovely, isn't it? We're just coming in close on the bugs. Oh, no, we're not. That's not me. Here you go, though. Got that one. Leopard print. What animal's that, then? Anyway, moving on. They're kind of made-up prints, aren't they? They're all friendly bugs, though. Garden Friends in Peach, this one's called. That's a bit of a soft, pale peach, isn't it? Now, I love this one. Clover. Look. What? Clover. Now, I um, don't know if it's called that. Wait, have a look. Tranquil Flowers on Plum. That's what we... And that's what it's really called. That's what it's really called by the designer. So how come we've got some right and some completely wrong? I'm blaming Ryan. Lovely Ryan. Oh, I can't take that off, I'm afraid. I'll just have to do that. There we go. 6 99 Tranquil flowers on plum. Check. Uh, great for a child who loves creepy crawlies, little garden dungarees. Oh, that's a good idea. That's a lovely idea. Frighten all the other children, wouldn't it? Little sun hat. Little explorer bucket hat. We want, which one are you on about now? Six ninety nine for half a meter. I love this one. I think this one's beautiful. In fact, I love both the colours this comes in. So that's the plum one. And then this one is Tranquil Flowers on. Won't be teal. It'll be something. Dark teal. Oh, they've called it spearmint. I wouldn't call that spearmint myself. Well, maybe, maybe, well, then, yeah, the, the other flowers on that one weren't plum. Oh, what's that voice? Um, why was Jeremy on your watch? Okay. I bought a pod pedometer. It's arrived last night. Still in the packet. Six ninety nine. Oh, you're seeing curtains, you see. I'm seeing clothes. Yeah, you're doing lots of householdy things, aren't you? Righty ho. Now I've got, let's see what they've called this then. Lemon Pat, we've called it that, or they have. We've called it Lemon Passion. The designers called it. Lovely, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, it's forest fruits, but we don't know what colour the designer wanted that to be called. Forest fruits, that's called. Kitchen, yeah, I'm thinking kitchen. Apron. 
What are those things that uh, Wendy Orlando makes that you put between your saucepans? So the non saucepans. What? Pan protector, that's it. Okay, then we've got the uh, passion, no, not passion, the fruits of the, what, what's it called? Forest fruits in lilac. Oh, that's nice. Six ninety nine for half a meter. It's one hundred percent cotton, machine washable, forty four inches wide. Craft, not craft, quilting weight, dressmaking weight, fabric. Cat says it's saying Andy Warhol to her. Six ninety nine. Beautiful, isn't it? Lovely. I love those colours. Beautiful. Now I've got a fabric that's just one on its own. I haven't got it in any other colourway. It's nice, isn't that? It's Wildflowers in teal. Oh, hang on. Rayon. Wildflowers rayon. It's not rayon. It's definitely cotton. No, this is definitely, definitely, definitely 100% cotton. It's not rayon. Don't know who wrote that on there. And when you finish that, can you, what does the designer call it? Oh, wildflowers in teal. It's pretty, that, isn't it? It's lovely. Uh, the not tiny print, but a small print. Six ninety nine for your half meter. Rayon is a fabric, uh, 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 um, a man-made fabric. Okay. Now I've got the two blenders. First one in pink, little sprig, little sprig flowers on bright pink, like bubblegum pink. This one. Sorry, it's a bit creased, that one again. Tiny summer flowers in bright pink, we've called it. Lovely, isn't it? Doll's clothes, maybe for your Polly Doddy Doo Da Day. Six ninety nine. If you missed the first hour, make sure you go and watch. It's all sold out, there's nothing you can buy, but make sure you go and watch um, the first hour on YouTube. Cheryl Church was on making her dolls. Then I've got that. Now, what colour have they called this one? I bet they called this one Spit... Uh, oh, no. They're not Spit. Spear Mint. But no, because Spear Mint was... Uh, bright Blue, they've called it. We've called... Bright aqua is what the designer called it. We called it bright blue. Lovely, aren't they? Be oh, I do apologise. It's got a dirty fingernail. Oh, you know what that is? <laughs> Cupcake. In the break then, I went to try and get Nick one of Yvonne's cupcakes. I've got to bring a cake up. But well, no, I've got the cake that was next to it. I picked up the caramelly one at... And that one was the chocolate cake in there. Yeah. Right, last two fabrics in this range. We've got this one here. I love this one. Oh, I can see a passion flower in this one. Look, dandelion, clover, passion. Oh, oh, the, I, pl I um, planted three passion flowers this year. Each of them's died. All three of them have died. Yeah. Oh, I love passion flowers. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah, and they flower and flower and flower normally. Yeah. Get them in different colours. Obviously didn't like where I'd put them. Anyway, what we call this, flowers in purple. What does she call it? Flowers in plum. I, I don't know what that flower is there. Is it ready to open or is that it? A big bud. Or is it a fruit? Is it that, is it that cut? No. Because all the fruits are cut in half on the tree, aren't they? 
Beautiful. Oh, I love this one. What's this here? That's that going before it comes into that, isn't it? Yeah. No, it has to go that, because that's the flower and that's the seeds, isn't it? They blow the seeds and they make the flowers for next year. Yeah. You don't often see these these anymore. Well, not around my way, anyway. Yeah, I need to I need to change part of my garden into meadow, I think, because I want to have a little meadow. Oh, and there's the bug, look. There's a little bug. Is there? Oh, yeah. Beautiful, that one, isn't it? Vibrant, gorgeous fabric. And then I've also got that on white. This is the one that's been the most popular on pre-order. Oh, it is lovely. Look. We've called it Flowers on White. Oh, and that's what the designers called it. A shirt waist address, says Cat. Six ninety nine. Cat says she's going to make her boyfriend a Tolo shirt. You know what Mark Tolo shirt in this fabric, and we'd have a different fabric in the in the yoke. Well, it's not a yoke, is it? But the front section. No, I do it in um, I do it in that. Or maybe that, no. Where was the other plum one? No, or maybe you do it plain, because that they might not yeah. Yeah. Six ninety nine for half a meter, remember hundred percent cotton, machine washable. Cut off the bolt, especially for you, so you can have as much or as little as you want as long as it's by half a meter. I thought this was the most popular. Oh, well, that was most popular on pre-order, but the most popular one so far. No. Bugs on peach. She's called it, we've called it cream, I think, but they called it peach. This is the most popular fabric of the hour so far. Uh, the dungarees, dungarees for a kitty, maybe. Sun hat for a kitty. Something for you. Uh, palazzo pants for the summer. Now, Kat's thinking of all the things now she might make out of it. So she said a tool belt or a lampshade so far, of which she has neither. Six ninety nine, half a meter. Brand new, brand spanking new today. Or you could use this as your pocket lining on your skirt from the last hour. That'd be nice. And then you could do your covered buttons. You wouldn't get a whole bug on, but you could get a little bug on. Forage bug display on cream. It's more than cream. They've called it peach. I'd call it a soft apricot. It's a soft fruit of some sort. Remember, the whole bundle is available, but that way, so this way you can have as much as you want. If you want half a metre of each, so I want half a metre, half a metre, half a metre, and get half a metre for free as well. Oh, so the quality of this fabric is beautiful. Oh, hang on then. So now... now. Okay, so this is what Cat would do, maybe. So this is what Cat would do. Where's that one go? Oh, so your aqua's bigger than your one, two, three. Which one's that? That one. They put that in there. Okay, so this is how the designers have, have put them into different bundles for you. See, I wouldn't. I put that one on there, and I put that one on there. I think. 
Oh, would I? Would I? Would I? Yeah, you get all of them. You get all of them. Lovely. That'd make a lovely quilt. Those colours make a beautiful quilt, wouldn't they? 83 pounds and 89, 88 pence, sorry. You get 6.99 off because you're getting one half metre for free. Oh, were you all right in there, Jeremy Jones? Well, it sounds like a cold, doesn't it, more than anything else. You've been burning the what's it up both what's it's again. A week off, that's what it is then. Whoa. Oh, are these separate to those then? Right, these are exactly the same fabrics in three different colours. They're the, aren't they Carla lilies those? Oh, Peace Lily, Peace Lily. Oh yeah, Peace Lily, not Carla. They're nice, aren't they? So you get half a metre of each, you get the black, the blue and the pink. The blue is really, that one there is really jumping out at me, that one. We're going to do them in a minute by the half metre. The bundle, we have single figures left. This is not new today, but we have single figures left of the bundle. But again, you only get half metre, half metre, half metre. You're going to be able to get them by the half metre in a minute. Do you want to see them open? In a moment, then, in a moment. <sighs> Look. 21 99 where you get half a metre of that. Did you have to have a calculator for that, Cap? Look at that one. So in this bundle, you are getting the half metre of each piece. One and a half metres of fabric. Yeah, look. Oops, upside down. Um, what's the width? 44 inches wide, machine washable, quilting weight. Feels, oh, it's just lovely. So you get half a metre of the black, half a metre of the blue, half a metre of the red in the bundle. Single figures, low single figures. Let's start with by the black. Now this way you can buy it by the half metre. I'll, I'll just fold, I'm going to fold it in half for you like that so you can just see it better. But you do get half a metre, 749 for half a metre. There you go. Beautiful, isn't it? Make a lovely shirt, that, wouldn't it? Hmm? Derek, waistcoat. I don't know what Colorido is, though. Oh, is it? I've got nothing written on my salvage. Means very colourful in Spanish, apparently. But it's black and white. That's lovely, isn't it? Now I've got it in the blue background. This will be the most favourite time magic. Am I not supposed to say the most favourite? Is that English the most favourite? Yeah, I think so. No, I think it's the favourite most. Oh, I've got to get down and pick the red one up. Right, the blue one, there it is, beautiful, isn't it? It's a kind of mid, no, not even midnight. I don't know what kind of bl blue I'd call that. Vibrant. Marine blue, yeah, marine blue. Well, I've watched all my Gracie and Frankies. There's, there's only four. The, the, season, the next season, what do they call it, dropped? No, what do they call it when it goes on Netflix? Yeah, they have a word for it, don't they? Anyway, they've only they've only released four of the episodes. The rest of the series is coming later. So I was binge watching and thinking, oh, a whole series because I've watched four and there are no more. Seven pounds and forty nine pence for half a meter. Peace Lilies on blue. Then we got it on pink. Melissa Lowry for Clothworks designed this. That is pretty as well. Look. Pink's lovely, isn't it? Again, it pops, doesn't it? Pops. Peace Lily's on pink. 
gorgeous. If you want to have me through all three, you've got the little bundle going for you. There it is. There's the bundle, half a metre of each, 21.99. Saving 50p if you do that. Wait till you see... Oh, oh, all right then. I was about to say wet. No, no, let me... Can I do those other fabrics there? Then I've done all... There's only two of them, but I love them. I think they're from the same range, right? But I just think they're the same but different, aren't they? Look, 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 look. So you've got a little bundle where you get half a metre of each. Oh, 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 now I have got these by the half meter as well. In a second, oh look. The bundle, I've only got single figures, but you only get half a meter of each. I'm thinking you'll want more than half a meter of these. I'm thinking, that's what I'm thinking. Oh, imagine how you're going to feel if you make something out of that dress out of that, skirt out of that. Yeah, but you need to buy the half meter, you can do that. Which one first? Black one first. Now, on pre-order, they're a neck and neck. Aren't they beautiful? Look at the colour, even just that there. And then the pansies. Oh, it's lovely, isn't it? On the, well, I, I, I don't know which one I like best, the black one or the white one. Seven forty-nine for half a metre. A definitely dressmaking. Or oh, a shirt, a skirt, blouse, dress. But then you see it would look lovely on a quilt, wouldn't it? I'd want to keep it big, though. I'd want the border. I wouldn't want to chop it up. And then on the white... We'll keep going through that. Just got folded up. Doesn't mean it's sold out. Here's the white one. Again, by the half metre. That's not a fat quarter. We sent it by the half metre. 18 colours in there. 18 colours. That's an nasturtium leaf, I think, isn't it, that one? I don't know. I'm a zoologist, not a gardener. 7.49 for half a metre. Lovely, isn't it? Now remember, they, now I'm showing them on their own. It means you can buy it by the half meter off the bolt. So you can have what, ten meters. You can have ten meters. Lots of people buying a meter of this one. Oh, I'd love to know what you're going to make out of a meter of it, or are you just having it for your stash. Oh, I'm thinking. Do we still? I mean, how much longer do you think we're going to wear masks for? Look, beautiful. You won't get this piece, don't worry. A beach bag, lining of a beach bag, lining of a bag. Imagine doing a real, uh, like a black or a navy blue bag and then have this, the lining inside. I'm thinking. Right, let's do a book. Also, if you bump into Sally Stevens in wherever she's out and about, do take a, take a second look at her mask. She's got a new range of masks out that she's just made. Fantastic stash quilt, eight projects, two ways of using your yardage or your scraps. $12.99, Joyce D Dean Giesler, Giesler. Eight projects. Right, eight projects. What's that? £1.50 a project. Oh, nice. I think you'd have to have quite a few scraps to do these. Look, there's Betsy's quilt. Oh, no, no, look. Because, hang on, how big is it? 64 and a half by 64 and a half. You need three quarters of a yard of pink, half a yard of purple, half a yard of blue, almost one yard of green, half a yard of yellow, one and one third yards of red, five eighths of a yard of orange, and two yards of white. And then you four, me four yards of your backing fabric. Not background, backing. It's nice, isn't it? It's got a lovely depth to it, that one. And how to make it. Lo oh, you see, look, that's how she's done it, Scrappy. She's got all her red fabrics and she's made the fabric out of the scraps of the red, the green, the orange. Oh, that's nice. Then we've got your spinning triangles. I'm spinning around. 
triangular my way. It's a different song, that. Oh, and look at the look at the difference. Then we've got chain and bar. How to make it, put it all together. Christmas version. Confetti. Lovely. Oh, and then look at that. Uh, what's up? You're welcome. Now, now it's wrong, Ring. Oh, look. I wonder how big that heart is in the middle. Oh, nice. College bound. That one, if they're going off to college, you're eating the college colours. Safe travels. Oh, hang on. Where's... Oh, and then that's a new one, Flower Garden. Oh, no, hang on. How she got Flower Garden from Safe Travels? Let's have a look. And they got your wishing rings. What a lovely book. Eight different projects for $12.99. Lovely. Make sure you check it. Check out your baskets. Right, I've got some wide backings here. These are 108 inches wide. Machine washable, quilting weight. The thing is, you don't have to use them as backings if you don't want to. Use them for anything you like. Right, starting with this one, like a cathedral windowsy one. Okay, cat seeing trousers. No, because people think you're a caterer. Right, 108 inches wide, look, right? 108 inches wide. No. Look. How brilliant is that to make for back in the quilt? No seams at the back of the quilt. Don't have to buy it for that. 8 99 for half a metre. Imagine you could buy, make little kiddies clothes, dungarees, curtains, whatever you want. Whatever you want. Line a pair of curtains in it, maybe. 8 99 for half a metre. I thought that was my tummy rumping then. And it was the people upstairs. It's what? Sophie. Yeah. Sorry, Kat was asking me a question. I kept thought she kept saying Stacy. It's like, my name's Stacy. What's on my name? Stacy. 8.99. Keep going through for that. Loving that one. <laughs> Cat just did the whole thing about Harlequins. Then Jeremy's just gone, reminds me a bit of Harlequins. He's always on the ball. The Gemini trait, that being able to listen to several conversations at the same time. Maybe you've got um, Gemini Risings or something like that. Right, spot on white. This is nice. This is to make a lovely, something for a kiddie's bedroom. doesn't have to be a quilt. But again, it's 108 inches wide. You could o decode it if you like. Uh, and and um, there's no date in the diary yet for Polly, Polly Dolly, Duda. But I know when she finished the show, the management team jumped on her straight away to come back very soon. So whenever they can schedule it in, I'll let you know. Is this hot gossip? Cotton, yeah. Why? Oh. Are you? 8 99 napkins for a birthday party. Drapes, party bags. Bunting. Clown. If you're going to do clowns. Clown suit. Dress little Paul up. Oh. Mm. 
There we go. Now I've got it in the black background now. Spot on by New Text, this one is. You're welcome, man. Uh, again, 108 inches wide. It's lovely, isn't it? Do you know what you could do? Because it's 108 inches wide. You can make kids duvets. You can make kids bedding out of this, couldn't you? Duvet cover, pillowcases, valance. Then you don't see all the rubbish that's under the bed. Um, florals. Uh, would you want to do the pink one first? Uh, what did you say then? Oh, yeah. Look at this. It's an international day, dog of day, do, day do, international day of dogs that day, 26th of August. It's called Emma Pink Floral. This is 12.99 for half a meter. Um, who's it from? Julie, they have no plans to, just so you know. And when is it? Aren't I away? 12.99. Beautiful, isn't that, for bedding? May I again, you can make a duvet. So it's a 274 centimetres away. You can make a duvet cover out of this. Beautiful cotton. 28th, I think, come back. 29th, something like that. Oh, okay. I don't, so. Oh, and then the, uh, the last uh, x-ray back is, oh, that's no, not the same as this. This is Amelia, that was Emma, this is Amelia. Same range, same range. This is very uh, essence of Laura Ashley, isn't it, at home. Oh, they sell lovely bedding at Fragrance and Cotton. There's one in Leamington Spa, that well, I bought, used the one in London, but there's one in Leamington Spa. 100% cotton. Amelia Cree, what's well, not new? Amelia Cream Wide Backing Fabrics. Lovely. That's very almost seductive, isn't it, that one? That's a bit like um, Jane Seymour in Le Jardin. Twelve ninety nine half a meter, hundred and eight inches wide. Hundred and eight inches wide, Jeremy. Oh, yeah, this one or Sophie. Right now, I launched this yesterday. The few left. We had the five inch squares. Remember yesterday, the two and a half inch squares. Five inch flew out. Two and a half inch, very popular. This is lovely, isn't it? Look at this. It's from Moja. It's called Sophie. Look. Very tasteful. Look, kisses. Little ditzy flowers. Gingham coming up next. Look. Soft, soft gingham. Hasn't got flowers, but there you go. Ditzy print. Imagine this made into a, a um, quilt for your bedroom. These lovely soft colours. Little bit of lime green or apple green in there. Beautiful. We haven't cat. Then you've got the green ditzy, the green kisses. Look at that. These are all 10 inch squares. You get 42 of them for $44.99. There's your pinks. Imagine them all together. There's your pink gingham, your pink dits. Look at that. I'd say this reminds me of my nan, 
This one did my nan's house. Then you've got the deeper rose colour. Look at that. There's your kisses. Then we're going into the red. Then look at this lovely mushroom. There's not mushroom in this for the, um, in this collection. Have you got mushroom in your basket for this one? See, it's just we're channeling Little Paul now with all these rubbish jokes. That's nice, isn't it? Like mould. £44.99. I love these shabby chic fabrics, says Princess. £44.99. Princess, you set cat off now on something. Lovely. Got Debbie Shaw's So Outdoor Living next. A 25th, she's back, uh, a 26th, sorry, 26th, 26th she's in. I think it's Wendy, isn't it, on the 26th? Yeah, Sally Ann Harrison's in that day as well. Right, here you go. So Outdoor Living, Debbie Shaw. Brighten up your garden with 22 colourful projects. Well, it needs it at the moment, doesn't it? 22 projects for 9 99 and also, here they are. Oh, there's no picture of Debbie at the front of this one. Pom-pom tablecloth. Oh, I'll go through the book rather than that way. Look. Oh, there she is. Lovely. Look at these pom-pom tablecloth. Reverse applique heart placemats. All the instructions. Plant pot covers. Hannah's got these in her garden. Not these actual ones. She does plant pot covers for her garden. Uh, bunting in a bag. Uh, frilled chair pillow. Patchwork picnic mat. Buttoned pillow. OTP. Uh, when I, I tidied my garage out in my two days off and I found so many, um, a few years, well not a few years ago, last year, or maybe the year before, Danny, my gardener, cut, really cut my bamboo down and he put all the things in the garage. I was like, oh, why is he putting that? Anyway, they've turned into proper bamboo canes that you get from the garden centre now. But they're the, the height of my garage. They're really, really tall. I don't know. don't know what I'm going to do with them. Knotted bolster pillow. Heart decorations, beanbag stools, pipe box pillows, bolster pillow. That's uh, Riley Blake fabric, that. Mitered tablecloth, rustic table accessories, tic-tac-toe. Round pillows, barbecue tool roll. We haven't had the barbecue out much this summer. Normally my neighbours have got the barbecue going all summer, not this year. Picnic caddy. There better, better not be a heat wave in September while I'm not here. Button seat pad. Bottle tote. Ooh, Templates. Oh, I'm here then. That's August, not September. 9 99 9.99. Debbie Shaw, so outdoor living. I don't know which book number this was. Alice Caroline, some little two and a half inch squares. Pink first. <laughs> Ideal as a little gift for somebody. They can go on an envelope, pop them in the post. 9.99, thinking Christmas gifts now. Put them inside the Christmas card. Some of you still isolating. 9.99. They're two and a half inch grades, you get 36 of them. Now these are Tarna Lawn, they're not the quilting weight, they're Tarna Lawn weight, these. Yeah, Alice Caroline, uh, Anna was here from Alice Caroline a couple of weeks ago. Well, I don't know how long ago it was now, all the days are merging into one. Well. 
Then we got the blue one. Nine ninety nine. What do you mean you went into the office yesterday? Nine ninety nine. Blues are lovely, aren't they? The rainbow ones, these are sold out. Yeah. Here's Freya now. Freya and Sophie from Moda, good friends. Look at these. I love these flowers. Cat was just doing it like a little skipping tune in my brain. Look. They lovely, lovely fresh colours, these. Nice crisscross plaid there. Use it for the top of your jam jars. And that's nice, isn't it? And I've got to, that shutters in the background. Lovely. Imagine mixing all these together. They're beautiful, aren't they? You get 42 10 inch squares uh, for your 44.99. Look, then we've gone into the shutters and grey range. Nice, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, no, it's not lemons. Definitely shutters. Going towards lime. That's greeny. Oh! That's lovely, isn't it, that one? It is lilac-y. But it's grey, but it looks lilac-y, look. Pretty, aren't they so pretty, these? Look, don't they stand out? They're like painterly, yeah? And we've got the greens. Then we've got the flowers. Then look at those. But you can use, well I'll show you, because on the back of the 10 inch charm pack, it tells you all the things you can do with the 10 inch charm pack, look. So you can make squares, triangles, big squares, little squares, cut, um, not cartwheel, pinwheel, circles. So simple. Oh. Look, aren't they lovely? Those flowers on the blue. That blue, like a dark wedge with blue. Gorgeous. What colour would you put with this? I think I'd use a white or, or an ivory or a uh, chartreuse. That would be the right shade of shelters, though. Just mix and match. Do you know, I might, put, I might put some, like, kind of a dark orange in with it as well. Just to make it pop a bit. Or navy blue. Navy blue would be nice as well. Beautiful. Keep going through for that one. That's Freya. One Riley Blake. Which one would you like? Ooh. Poppy and Posy. I've got those threads as well, don't forget, Cat. Riley Blake, 10 inch charm pack, 40 p 49.99 this one. The I'm not gonna open it because these are all the fabrics yet. I've got one. Look, that's that fabric. That's obviously a fat quarter. You're getting a 10 inch square in here. But look, look. Look, that one's in there as well. Look. 
Lovely, aren't they? Beautiful. They're just two of the prints you'll get in there. 42 pieces for 49.99. Right, okay, look, very quickly, because Rebecca's coming back on to do a dress now. Look at this thread box, right? 69.99, they've taken 10 pounds off. One, two, three, oh, it says there, 40, uh, 22. 42 threads for 69.99. It's about one pound 50, is it? I might not be. Oh, 166, that was a bit off. Guzman, 100 metres on each spool. 166 for each one. Beautiful array of colours. Take a, no name, take a note of the number that you're using because you're bound to want more. And then also it's got a lovely uh, magnetic glass box, look. The cut ray of colours. Oh, there you go. We were just saying what colours would we put with that. Um... Oh, no, it wasn't that one. It was... I think you need to open the door in there anyway. Oh, no, that was, um, that was um, Emma and uh, Hannah. 69.99. Keep going through, keep going through, keep going through. Right. We have to go for a break now because uh, Rebecca, I need to call to Catherine then. Rebecca is here. Do, oh, doing that dress there. Doing that dress there from that book there. I've got to go far to get all the stuff for this hour, have I? We will see you in about four minutes from now. We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task and sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Well our family run customer service team are on call 24-7. They're full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and as enjoyable as possible. And not only will they take your order, they will also help and guide you on your shopping journey so you never miss out. I'm Debbie Harris and I'm so excited to be one of the new guest designers here on Sewing Street. I live and work in Melton Mowbray in Leicestershire where I run my own knitting and sewing business called Mabel and Deb. I specialise in sewing and knitting and crocheting and I've been doing all of those three things from being a little girl when my mum taught me all things knitting, crochet and sewing. Started off just crocheting little chain stitches and granny squares and then actually patchwork sewing little hexagons and they're still my favourite shape to sew now. I used to be a school teacher for over 20 years I was teaching in classrooms um, and just had the knitting and the crochet and sewing as a background hobby but now I get to do this as, as my job and I'm absolutely passionate about it and really want to share all that passion and excitement with you guys. Um, a, a tip that I think is worth sharing with you is always use quality materials so whether that's your fabrics or your threads or wool, the difference in the quality of your materials can really make a difference to your finished project. And I always use the right tools, so whether it's a rotary cutter or a pair of scissors that are specially made for that job, that too can make all the difference. My claim to fame in 2020 was winning, being one of the winners of the Great British Make-Off here on Sewing Street when I did my debut um, sewing demonstration in November last year. And it was just a wonderful experience and I'm so excited to be here on my Sewing Street journey with you all, bringing lots of tips, techniques, and looking forward to doing lots of exciting projects with you throughout the year. So lovely to meet you and I look forward to seeing you soon. Bye. Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433 and for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. 
And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! Hello everyone, I'm Delphine Brooks. It's so great to be here and part of the Sewing Street family. I'm local, I'm only down the road in uh, Warwickshire. Uh, I started sewing many years ago uh, when I was very young doing uh, lots of art and painting and eventually I went into textiles and I really enjoyed doing the two together. I had then had a bit of a break, uh, something you don't know about me maybe is that I spent many years in the Royal Air Force and eventually in uh, the police as well and then I went full circle and I've come back to uh, my happy place of sewing and uh, which I really enjoy. Uh, my be best sewing tip is measure twice and cut once. I have chipped up a couple of times by uh, not measuring properly and I do always regret it so now I always measure twice, cut once. Anyway I really hope to be with you again soon and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Thank you. Uh, now I've got some really, <coughs> excuse me, I've just tried to eat very quickly some blackberries in the break and they were cold and they're making me cough. Um, and I've got some really good deals, really, really good deals. I did have a lovely zip as well, but it's gone now, never mind. Um, read the book, five pounds off, five pounds off this book. Now it's called The Beginner's Guide to Dressmaking. Before you put it in your basket, I need to tell you about the sizes. And what page did I say it was on? 52. When we were prepping this morning, did I say 52? It was 62. 62. <coughs> Excuse me. My, oh, there it is, 55. Right, here you go. Here are the dress sizes. <coughs> oh, excuse me, I'll just take some water while you look at that. Right. The sizes go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 for this book, right? That one is a 37 inch bust, a 35, uh, 29 and a half inch waist and a 39 and a half inch hip. And it goes up to the largest size, which is a five, which is a 43 and three quarter inch bust, a 36 waist and a 45 hip. So, <coughs> oh, excuse me, I do apologise. Uh, I reckon it goes to a size 16, this book, at maximum, maximum. Size 16 play. Just so you know. Just so you know. Okay, so you got all your patterns in there. We'll talk about those later. So it's called The Beginner's Guide to Dressmaking by Wendy Ward. You get all sorts of goodies in here. You get pattern variations. You've got t-shirts, maxi dress, trousers, fishtail skirts, zips, jacket, and the shift dress. We're doing the shift dress today. Now, obviously, the trousers, I need to say, are like jersey... Um, jogging pants sort of thing. You've got stretch jersey mini skirts, you've got stretch t-shirts there. You've got your fishtail skirt and your zip jacket. I will go through it all with you now. Now each of them have their own sort of size chart. Here are the projects. Basically what she's saying is you can make a capsule wardrobe out of all her different projects here. So starting with the t-shirt. Now the t-shirt she's done sizes one to two, three and four to five. You see, so the largest size on this is the same size as the largest size I just said in the shift dress. How you cut it out. <coughs> oh, excuse me, I do apologise. I shouldn't try and eat fruit really quickly in the, <coughs> in the break, should I? So here we go, here's the t-shirts, make it your own. With a customising maxi dress. Again, with the sizes there. But the largest size it goes to, as I would say, is, is a 16. Oh, can you just take my microphone out for one minute? Oh, I do, I've got a, black, a bit of blackberry. No, blackcurrant. No, blackberry. And it's hitting the back of my throat. There you go. Make it your own trousers. There's your fishtail skirt. It's very contemporary, I'd say, all this section, isn't it? It's very young, very young and contemporary. But there's £5 off the book. There's the jacket, making it your own. 
Then the shift dress, this is what we're doing today, the shift dress. And of course you can make the shift dress, the chart, the measurements I just read out to you there. Largest size, uh, 43 and a half, 36, 45. And then you lay out plans, how to make it, all your facings, which Rebecca's going to go through now. There you go, this is the dress. We're doing it with the sleeves in today, but you can make it with the sleeves out. You can put a collar on it, put a pocket on it. Uh, and then all your different techniques in the back of the book. All the patterns are on the sheets uh, within the book there, which we'll see. We'll look at those. I'm not going to rip them out of this book because Rebecca's already written them out of her book. Right, so there's the book. Beginner's Guide to Dressmaking. Should be $19.99. 14 dollars 99 14 99 There we go. Right, very popular, very popular. Now, we've done this really, really, I don't know why they've done this. I really don't know why. They, we've got bundles of two and a half metres of fabric here, right? I'll just let you put the graphics in and you can see. If you've been looking on pre-order, if you've been looking on pre-order, you'll know this already. Oh, yeah, see, you've all been on pre-order. There's only four of these left. £10 off. £10 off, even if you're not making anything out of this book. Two and a half metres, this fabric, is link, un link unleashed. I un no, this is Michael Miller. Sorry, this is Michael Miller, this one. Thought now, I thought this was ink unleashed. Michael Miller shouldn't be reduced. Oh, is it ink unleashed? Hang on. Right, hang on a sec. I didn't know it's called the paper curator, this one. I could just want, well, anyway, whatever it is, this is what you're going to get. This is what you're going to get. Called the simple brush stroke, this one. Anyway, £27.45 to get you two and a half metres to take the £10 off. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Beautiful. Well, Michael Miller, well, you know how much Michael Miller normally sells for. Two and a half metres. Oh, it is, un it is, it is in condition. I never knew that Michael Miller did in condition. We've li loved, loved in condition. Now, this one. Oh, this is amazing. Look at this. This is Adrienne Leban Bio Geo Snail. Well, snail. I can sort of see it. There it is. There's the shell. There's the body. It's beautiful, though, isn't it? Again, temp. There's only five of these left. Only five of these left. It's incredible, that fabric, isn't it? Hang on. I'm just going to hold. I'm just going to waft this one out. I don't think I've ever seen this one before. <coughs> oh my word, that is going to be incredible. Whether you make this pattern or not, whether you make this dress or not, two and a half meters. It's lovely, isn't it? Absolutely beautiful, that. Oh, gorgeous. Oh, that is great. Now, this one. Oh, there's only four of those left now, and lots going into baskets. Um, I've never seen this one before either. Dance moves, this one's called. This one is called um, Line Dance. The Spirit Create from Free Spirit. Now, that. Oh, imagine that. That's, you're going to make an impact, make an entrance in a frock out of that, aren't you? 27.45, that's £10 off. Ten pounds off, even if you want to make this dress. I've never seen that before. I've seen the dance um, moves fabric before. I don't remember that one at all. You work that out. Five, uh, six, five. Uh, you can work it out. Five forty-nine and a half meters. What that works out at for designer fabric. I know, I know, it's beautiful, isn't it? Then we've got this one. Now, what's it called, Cat? Yeah, Cat does this in a very French accent. Floral Menagerie Geo. You will be seeing this one being made up right now. $24.95. Again, £10 off. Lovely. You're going to see that one being made up, so I won't spend too much time on that one. But be careful, because all of those bundles are really popular. Now, these bundles, I think, are going to be even more popular. Two and a half metres. 
Look at this. This is so lovely. Forty-four inches wide. Look. Oh, look. Eighteen ninety-nine. This is a navy cotton poplin. It's quite a. It, it's a lovely weight poplin. I'll say that before. It's a beautiful, beautiful weight poplin. That is gorgeous, isn't it? Two and a half metres for eighteen ninety-nine. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. That these will all go. These bundles will all go. These bundles will all go. Then I'm going to show you the one we've made the sample out of already. This now you see, if you looked at this, you'd go, that's a liberty print. Wouldn't you? You'd look at that and think it was a liberty print, wouldn't you? Lovely, isn't it? That's the orange. There's it then. Here's the dress made up in it. Lovely, isn't it? Fresh, summery, beautiful, that one. Okay. Then I've got an aqua flower one. <sighs> oh, sorry, this has got in the wrong pile. No, it's cat's cat put the piles together. Henry Glass, £10 off. £10 off, sorry, that should have been the other pile. £10 off. £27.45. Midnight Sapphire, that one's called. But still, you get your two and a half metres, £27.45. All right? And then last but not least in the other pile, we've got this one. Have you? Oh, cat's got to get my dress made out of this, apparently made by a world-famous dressmaker. Pink florals on ivory, cotton poplin, 18 99 Lovely, isn't it? This is Rose and Hubble, this one. Beautiful. Right, shall we... Oh, I know, no, very quickly, this one's... In the last hour... I haven't got a bundle of this or anything, but in the last hour we had this fabric... I think this dress would look amazing in this fabric. Do you want the code, Kat? Are you all right? Oh, there you go. I know it's 7.49 by half a metre. Two and a half metres. Make you a lovely frock, that one, wouldn't it? Um, there we go. Right. Where have I put the book? Where is it? Over there. Oh, yeah. Book goes up to like a size 16. Now, shall we talk patterns, first of all, Rebecca Harrison? Because they're all inside the, the inside. And they I'm not going to rip mine out because no. it'll ruin the book, won't it? There you go. I'll take mine out. So, yeah. So, let me open them out and you can see what they look like. So, those are all your patterns. There's two of these and it's on both sides. Right. So, you've got um, four sides of patterns. Yeah. So, you just need to find the right pattern for you. And, and the right and size. And the right size. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, this one here, for example, is that, that's the sleeveless shift dress at yeah. the front. Um, and the, uh, the facing for the sleeveless one, which is different to the, the facing the for the sleeves. sleeves yeah. yeah, so it's different. So um, basically, that might look a little bit confusing to start with. <clears throat> Just take your time. What I sometimes do, and now you can buy a friction highlighter pen. We sold out of them at the moment. I would highlight all my pieces that I needed for the size I was doing now. Then when I'd done it, and then trace it off, then I'd iron, I'd iron it under a tea towel. All, all, the, fric all oh. the marking will come off. Or yeah. use the fric end of the friction pen. All the marking will come off. Yeah. Because it, you do need to concentrate on which patterns you're cutting out, don't you? Yeah. Also, that doesn't look long enough to be a dress. Have you got to pattern No. Something? So there's, yeah. So there's, there's, um, there's a piece that you add on, which is... See if I can find it. It's all, you will. Yeah. You, you will find it. They're here. So yeah. So there's there's a piece that you have to add on if you're doing the the dress. Right. So but you add it on at the seam. end. You, you, you there it is. There. So you join your two pattern pieces together and, and then cut it out see, as a whole. Yeah. So there's that bit there. Right. Yeah. Got that. You can see that. Yeah. So and that attaches. That that, that attaches bodice. onto the bottom. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. All so right. That, so that's that, so that's your length. Excellent. For the dress, yeah. Okay. But once you got past that, it's quite a simple make, isn't oh, it? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, very simple. So if I show you... 
my patterns. Right. So this is, so there's, that's your back ne neck facing with your little um, dart in. That's the front one. Uh-huh. There's your sleeve. Right. And then front and back, very simple. So that's the back. Yeah. Um, with your darts. And then there's the front. So so once you've traced it off, it's very it's very simple. And Perfect. just make sure that you transfer everything that's written on there, transfer it onto your pattern so you won't forget um, to do anything because the, the centre front is on the fold. Oh, because there's a zip there's a zip at, at, the, at, the, at the back. So it's a yeah, it's a back opening. So yeah, make sure just make sure you transfer all that on and then you you can't go wrong really Perfect. because it's because the seam allowance as well so your seam allowance is 1.5 centimeters apart from around the neck and around the armhole when you put your sleeves in that then goes down to one centimeter okay so, so keep reading it keep yeah checking yeah that, yeah so keep yeah keep checking that i'll just put that away so yeah and obviously once you've traced it off you just keep making them yeah exactly once you've got your pattern yeah, so that's that. Let's get rid of that. Okay. Right. So then, your dress. So I, what I've done is I've attached my facing. So you, you need your iron-on interfacing. Is it the lightweight one again? Yes, from the last it's your, day, light, yeah. your, your lightweight one. And as I said, you've got um, your little darts um, in the back um, on the shoulder and just attach them at the shoulder and okay. then you will attach that later. Right. So, and I have pinned all the darts in oh, okay. so that I can just uh, whiz these through and so then the get it together. So the darts go all the way from the bust through the waist and down so to on, the hip. Yeah, then. on the front, that's my backs, on the front you've got um, a bust dart, there you go. So you've got the bust dart there Yeah. and then you've got your, your, your dart going from, um, from your bust over um, your waist and out to your hips. Okay. So it's so it, it Which one would you do first? It goes it in matter? it goes out. Um, well they don't they don't meet. Oh, okay. Um, oh, so, it doesn't matter. so it doesn't so it doesn't matter. Yeah. If if obviously if they met you'd do one and then the other. Yeah. Um, so yeah, so I'm just going to do those. Okay. So you just trace those off your pattern onto the back of your fabric, whether you use um uh, a marker pen or a, what the, Rebecca and I use a tracing wheel. Yeah, and, um, so I've, yeah, I've used tracing a tracing, paper. yeah, you can't, very, it's very, very faint yellow dots uh -huh. on my, on this. So just follow it all the way down and you're just aiming to run off. So you don't want, um, a sharp point yeah. at your bust. So you're just aiming to run that off gently, like so. So then you can just press it. Yeah. And it's just a nice gentle dart. Lovely. Yeah, because normally on a dart, you'd start at the wide bit and go to the thin bit, but you're going now, on this dart, you're going thin, wide, I got Yeah, thin. but, but you, can, you can do that start start center. in the center and come out and yeah i yeah, mean right. that's yeah, yeah you can do that let's do a little back stitch yeah if it's easier to do that then do that yeah. but then you've got to definitely definitely make sure that you hit exactly the right point when you're matching in the middle don't yeah you? yeah yeah, and make sure you back stitch as well because you don't want that coming undone. Yeah. Whilst you're wearing it. That's it. Let's do the other side. Mm -hmm. I mean, it comes together. Well, I was going to say that's the really, only shaping you've got. Yeah. Oh, there must be, is there one on the back? Did you say there's one there's, on the back yeah, shoulder Yeah, there's, well? there's, there's one, little one on the shoulder on the back. Mm -hmm. And again, the, um, a dart that goes, um, nips the waist in and then out over your hips. Oh. Excellent. 
Elliot's prowling again, I'm afraid, everyone. <laughs> Do we know what he's looking for today? Make sure you're checking out for your book. Five pounds off. Beginner's Guide to Dressmaking. It's got dresses, tops, t-shirts, trousers, skirts and jackets in it. Jacket would look nice over this, wouldn't it? Yeah. That's, I, quite, I quite like that. The, I um, quite like a dress like this with a denim jacket yeah. it as well. I think the... the thi uh, let me have a look at the jacket. Cause has it got a, an asymmetrical opening or can you do it with a straight forward opening? I don't know. Now, they've all got an asymmetrical opening, haven't they? Yeah. But they've done one in denim. Oh. Yeah. I'm just going to do all mid darts, uh -huh. and then I'll give, them a, give it a press. That's OK. Got plenty of time. How are we doing fabrics? Any warnings on fabrics, Kat? The navy floral. This one. There's only four of the navy floral bundle left. It's lovely, this. There's the overhead, there you go. Beautiful. There's only four of those left. 1899. You get two and a half meters. All right, hang on a sec. Ink Unleashed just sold out. And Snails sold out. Uh, Rebecca's working with. Floral Menagerie, well, except it's not, it's Geo, isn't it? The Floral Menagerie is the, is the, the uh, range. This was the Geo print that came with it. I love that snail one. It's gone now, so. Oh. That would make, that would look very nice. Very nice what? Very nice in a dress or. Oh, you said that would make very nice. Oh, did I? Yeah. <laughs> That's my English. Flo floated off. <laughs> Concentrating. Quite nice in a wide trouser if you're young enough to. Not the, I wouldn't which go. the snail? Yeah. Oh, I yeah. wouldn't go for it, but I think I'm probably. Is a cat bit. young enough? Could you Yes. Get oh, yes. Got cream jeans on today, everyone. She decided not to wear the dress that Rebecca Harrison made for her. <laughs> for it's not quite reason. warm enough, is it? Oh, was it? Uh, was it? Um, it's a summer, summer flimsy dress. She wears a vest underneath. <laughs> right, Sue said, "What was the most difficult costume Rebecca made for a film or for stage?" Oh, oh my goodness. So it won't necessarily be the dress. It might have been the person she had to work for. <laughs> <to make it. laughs> yeah. um, I did a, a beautiful velvet coat, heavily embroidered. I ha that I ha well, I had um, a beautiful um, like lace and uh, sort of that, that I had to make patterns out of. It was huge for um, Othello, oh, wow. for WNO. Yeah. So um, that was, I had to make two of those. So that was quite, um, yeah. yeah, that was quite a challenge. But it was lovely, it was lovely when it was done. It oh was, yeah, yeah, but challenging. It was, yeah, yeah, it was, yeah, whilst I was doing it, I was like, is this ever gonna end? Yes. They're all lovely though, aren't they? Can I waft the blue line dancing one? I can indeed, that's this one.
Or you could do both, Jeremy. So there it is at the overhead. And then here it is if you wear it. Is that all right? Lovely. Yeah, what where that going down the um, Southport Market? Oh, what do you want to go there for? Hang on, which one am I? is that the one the airfield? Yeah, yeah. When I I won't say the name of the village, but there's a village not my village, but there's a village near me. And when I first moved in, they said oh, you've got to go to but but market on the airfield. So I went, I went thinking it was going to be like a nice country, you know, hanging vines, flowers picked from gardens, everything. It was all electrical things and, and, and kind of like um, harnesses that you bought. By, if you've got a big bulldog, like a harness you buy from bulldog and mattresses and things like that. No. You haven't been since then? No, that was <laughs> 10 years ago. Yeah. Because I found other nice farmers markets and things. Oh then. yeah, and we've got a lovely farm shop near us as well. So. You do, you do. Um, don't you work in your shop? In my little pop-in shop. I haven't yeah. for ages. I've been here every day, but mm. I'm on. I'm, oh no, what day is it? I think it's Wednesday. No, no, I'm not meant to be at the shop. I think I've got. A, I've got a committee meeting. T I think it's tonight. What date is it? The 18th. 18th today. Yeah. I think I've got a marketing meeting tonight. And the, and the committee meeting tomorrow night. I've forgotten about that. Oh. Right, we're on to concealed zips. Which well, oh, so before we sign anything together, we're doing zips on, are we? Yes, okay. I, like to get, I like to get my zips in first on the flat. Long cream zip, 56 centimetres, 2.99. Yeah. Especially with a concealed, because as we've said before. Yeah. It's my... Uh, it's your bet noir. Yes. It is. Uh, Roxana says, hi, John. Please tell Rebecca I love her nail varnish. What's oh, thank it you. Uh, oh, it's something like Battleship Grey or <laughs> something. <laughs> something lovely like that. OK. I know. The reason I've got it on is last time I was here, I think it was the two days before I came here, yeah. I, um, I sewed over my... Oh, that's right, yes. Yeah, and it's still black. My nails still oh, so nail black and black and purple, so oh. I need yeah, I needed nail varnish to cover it up, so because it doesn't look very nice. Um, so yeah, so, so concealed, concealed zip. zip, right? Okay, so um, Mark, what I have found out because I've been watching lots of different things because I never get this right. Right. So I've been watching lots of things. So. Um, what I've what I've found out is that you um, you stop the zip way before the end of the zip. That's that's a prop and I've never done that okay. before with a concealed zip. No. I've always gone and it's, it's it is quite fiddly. So I'm going to try that today. Right, oh, live I've, on air. First time I've done it. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. Um, but the other actually the tip I picked up from Jane, the Sussex seamstress, yeah. when I, I put a concealed zip in uh, one of hers, um, is to sew um, the zip further away to sew it down first to anchor it down. Right. So I'm going to do it because they are fiddly, aren't they? Yeah. Concealed oh, yeah, yeah. zips there. Mm -hmm. You know, they move around. Do I need a special foot for a concealed zip? Or are you doing it with a normal? Yeah, well, this is, I haven't got one. So I'm doing, I'm doing it with a normal zipper foot, zipper foot which yeah. you can do. It's not a problem. Um, you can do it with those. But obviously a concealed zipper foot is, um, would make the job a bit easier, I think. So I'm just going to go down this. While you're doing that, we've got a concealed zip in black as well. 349. Is it the same size? Yeah. Navy floral sold out. Just 
the thing to remember as well about a conceal zip if you've never put one in before uh -huh. is obviously if you were putting um, the you, you know your usual zip in, yeah. you wouldn't be um, putting it in like this. No. Pam Minihani says, I'm currently co uh, sewing a concealed zip. I'll oh. race you so you finish his first. Don't go for don't. it. No. So obviously, with, you, with when you've got your, your other zip, you'd, you'd put it that way yes. and sew down. Mm -hmm. But obviously, we, this is a concealed zip, so we need to have it that way. So let's get my other back. So now you've got to try and get it. Not so trying. it's the you same. Have you have it. to get it, yes. I'm quite lucky because my um, overlocker, where my overlocking is, uh -huh. if I place um, the zip to the edge of my overlocking, um, it's one and a half centimetres. Right. Which obviously makes it a bit easier, so you can use that as a guide. Uh -huh. I hate putting zips in. Yeah, hang on. That's oh, you get it twisted. Yeah, that's not right. Right. Let me, I need to think about this. Think, think, think. That's got to be that way. So you've got to turn that through, haven't you? See, this is why I struggle with concealed zips. There we go, right. Yeah, we, you've got this, Rebecca, the thing in the gallery, you've got <laughs> Don't put them in very often. No. I don't, well, I, zips at all, to be when, honest. When I worked in co costume, I'd try and find any excuse. Because you can't put a zip in a quick change costume. No. No, You can't put a zip it, in a it? period costume. Absolutely <coughs> not. No. No. It's eyelets, isn't it? Or a bit of Velcro. Mm. So it's either eyelets or a bit of Velcro, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, exactly. Quick change. Mm -hmm. Or hook right. and bar. There's hook the love bar. zone on hook and bar hook tape. Hook and bar. Or not tape, hook and bars. Yes, there's holster. something very satisfying about that, isn't yeah. there? Yeah, I like doing that as well. I like doing an eyelet, though. Do you like eyelets? Sewing eyelets. You mean to do the buttonhole stitch round an yeah. eyelet rather than a... Yeah. 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 But the trouble is, if you're in theatre and it's like, you know, you've got to get it on, the last thing you want to do is sitting on a sofa doing buttonhole stitch round yes. the island. Question from Jennifer. Can you put in an ordinary zip in um, the same way as a concealed zip? Uh, no. No. I wouldn't say not, no. But you can put, a, if you, you want can to put, put a normal an, zip yeah. in this, you can put a normal zip in it. You yeah. don't have to do a concealed one. Yeah, because you've got, you know, you've got um, a centimetre and a half to yeah. play with, so you've got plenty there. Right, so that's my anchor stitch. I know now that that isn't going to move, so I'm just going to... Double check before I move it in. There we yes. go. Marvellous. Marvellous. She's done it. Hooray. Right. Now I'm going to go close to the teeth. So just separate. So that with the concealed zip, it curls, it sort of curls over. Uh -huh. So if you just pull that to one side as you're... Um, going mm -hmm. now I, I probably won't get as close as you perhaps would with a um, a concealed zip foot yeah yeah you can buy a, you can buy a concealed zip foot which, yeah. which sits over the teeth of the feet and it sews right close to it so if you've got one of those it's even better
mine on Monday. What date is it? Oh yeah, no. Yeah, that's probably, I'd probably like to get that a bit closer, really. Okay. Cats just asked me if I'd ever go back to costume making. I think I'd, I'd I only do. like to make like wedding dresses or period gowns or something like that now. Yeah. Hmm? Yeah, they're, I mean, they are lovely to make, yeah. aren't they? They really are. Also, it's my comfort zone, so it, well, it was my comfort zone. You yeah. sit down and do it, don't even think yeah. about it. But <clears throat> I need something to challenge me, really. That's why I'm here. <laughs> Working with these people in the gallery is very challenging. Okay, so you've sat. You've so you've I've sewn that in. Right. So that's that's it in. That's pretty concealed to me. That's yeah. I mean, it's I, I would yeah. Yeah. It's okay. It's okay. Right now, what do you do? So with that now end? I'm gonna stitch up down here. So. What what I watched was <laughs> what I watched. What I watched. So you you pin slightly past the end of the zip. Slightly so you past could what, where you've been where you've where, where I've stitched it. Yeah, where I've stitched it in. So just slight just slightly past. I mean, this here you could um, go over right with your machine and cut that away. Oh, okay. You then. could if you so if you <coughs> didn't if you didn't want all you know that. Uh, <coughs> You didn't want that inside your dress? Yeah, right? trailing inside your dress. Okay. Oh, Pam says it was a draw. You oh, you've done yours. Time. Yeah. Well. Okay. Move that over. Oh, no. So when you say below, do you mean to one side? Yes. Or, yeah. So pull it over to one side. Yeah. Come on, there we go. You're right. Yeah, just couldn't get the foot on to change position. So you change back to your... Oh, no, you're still on your zipper. No, no, I'm still on my zipper foot because I've got to go past, next yeah. to... You, would, you wouldn't get your normal yeah, foot course, past yeah. there. So I'm just going to... You could change back to your normal foot now, actually, if you wanted to. Uh -huh. This fabric's quite good because you can use the um, little geometric uh, oh, to, can you to um, well, hopefully, line up. That cat says it make your eyes go funny when you're staring at yeah, it. Yeah. <laughs> Does a bit. Right, moment of truth. Okay. <coughs> Here we go. Let's, let's have a look. There we go. Not too bad. Needs a good press. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not too bad. Brilliant. Give it a good press. Wow. <coughs> I 
I keep thinking the bottom's going to stay. Oh, I meant to say during the break, stay you, can, behind. you can click the switch and not bring oh, the base okay. up with you if you want to. But. It's just every time I do it, I think, oh, no, I've done that wrong. <laughs> Go. There we go. So your zip, your zips in. But yeah. I always think it's better to do it before you uh, put it all together yeah. because oh, yeah. then nothing can get in the way. Then and you're you're clear to carry on. Yeah. So now we can join the fronts to the back. Mm -hmm. Let's do the shoulders. And then we can get the facing in before we do the side seams. Mm -hmm. Oh, change my foot. Oh, yeah, change foot back to normal. <laughs> <coughs> That's it. It's a little dress that you could wear uh, for any occasion, really. Is after oh, yeah. tea, meeting your mates, going shopping. Yeah, and it, it changes, doesn't it, with the different fabrics that you use? Yeah. You can dress it up, dress it oh, down. Oh, yeah, completely. Like that, I lifted. No, the, I lifted the foot, the foot up, up before I. Yeah. There we go. That's better. Right, let's give those a quick press. Right. Open up that zip. Can you hear children shouting? Yeah, I can hear something out there, yeah. What's happening? I don't know. <laughs> I think it sounds like a playground outside. <laughs> so is the facing okay. going now? So the facing, I'm going to put the facing in now because yeah. again, it's a bit easier and you don't have to worry about when you're putting your um, sleeves in. Yeah. So match up your uh, shoulder seams. And now, so remember with this one, so you've got um, a centimetre now. So we've gone from oh, the 1.5, yes, yes, yes. so we've now got a centimetre. And it, you'll have um, a little bit extra that you'll right. see over there because then you're going to turn it through right. and um, hand stitch that down so it's out of the way of your zip. Right. Okay. So now you just sew all the way around the... Um, all the way around that, yeah.
like they're having a party out there. Oh, it does, doesn't it? <laughs> I don't know if it's upstairs or next door. Oh. It? Creaking over there. Is it you? I thought it was. Sounds like it was there. Maybe it is over here. Yeah, it's is not it me. You? Is it not you? No. Oh. Oh no! You know what it is. You know what it is. You know what it is. Um, Jeremy's moved the tables, and they're rubbing against each other here. In the, in the, in the, oh, when so when so I'm when you lean forward, it rubs on my table. That's what it is. <sighs> oh, funny. Right. So now I'm going to just snip into. Um, the, curve. The, the curve, just so it, when I uh, put it around the, the right way, okay. it will sit properly. So just be careful you don't go through your stitches. Uh that through give it a press yeah and then we'll do a bit of top stitching to keep it down Ooh, have a facial yeah Quite a deep facing, isn't it? It is, yes, yeah. And the, the one for the sleeveless is even more. Oh, okay. On the sleeveless one, they do this, the arm and the neck in the same. Yeah, yeah, so you have to um, yeah. turn it through. While you're pressing that, I might just do a recap. What's in the, yep. the book? The book's in at the moment. Beginner's Guide to Dressmaking. Five pounds off. Uh, you, it's our capsule wardrobe. There's a dress, a skirt, a t-shirt, trousers, and a jacket and a shift dress. 14 pounds and 99 pence. Should be 19.99. All of your patterns are all in there on two sheets on both sides. Uh, Beginner's Guide to Dressmaking. Five pounds off. 14 pounds and 99 pence. A uh, very quick message. Love this demo. Rebecca makes it look so easy. I might have to give this a go. Dominique in Gloucestershire. Dominique, is that you with the pub? The fox in? Right, okay. Then, fabric-wise, you're right, still pressing. Like, yeah, still pressing, away. yeah. Fabric-wise, the one we're using. Sorry. Yeah, the one we're using. Two and a half metres, ten pounds off. Floral Menagerie Geo in multi-cotton fabric. Two and a half metres for 24 pounds. And 95 pence. That works out at five pounds. No, it's not even 45, 40. No, no, because look, two and a half meters, 25 pounds. So it's five pounds for half a meter. Yeah, okay. Then we've got this one here. Henry Glass, this is beautiful. I love this fabric. Twenty-seven forty-five. This one. Ten pounds off. Ten pounds off. Ten, I don't know why. Don't ask me why. I've got no idea. I love that fabric. Two and a half meters. Whether you're making it to make the shift dress or not. Then we've got the line dancing. That's not a line dance. That's Benny Hill theme tune you're singing there. Lovely, isn't it? Just folding it up. <clears throat> Message from Karen while I'm folding that up. For someone who's greener than grass, we're dress we're dressmaking goats a real honour to watch such a professional at work. Oh, you're very welcome. You're, oh, you mean her? <laughs> oh. That's very kind. Uh, well done. I mean somebody who knows nothing about um, dressmaking. Righty-ho. Then this one, which is what the sample was made out of. 
There we go. Poplin, orange florals. <clears throat> £18.99 and pence. There it is. And then last but not least, I've got the fabric that Kat's got a dress made out of. Here we go. Rose and Hubble, 1899, two and a half metres, lovely floral fabric. Lovely. Right. Keep checking out, keep checking out. We are going to have to finish in a minute. Uh, get a sleeve get yarn, Lane. Right, all I'm doing is top stitching round my facing. On the facing on side. On the facing side, yeah. yeah. So push all your seams over yeah. and catch them down with the, the top stitch. And it just means it'll, it shouldn't roll back over then. Uh -huh. So it shouldn't, it shouldn't show when you're wearing it. Here we go. Right, let me get one side seam done and yeah. then get us, we try and get a sleeve in. Okay, perfect. Yeah. I won't, I won't go all the way down. I'll just go down a little yeah, yeah. bit so that we can get a sleeve in. Okay. Obviously, you go down both your sides yeah, yeah, there. Yeah. <laughs> so, armhole. Oh, and like I said, you've turned that that facing in yeah and stitch and hand whip it down yeah hand, it. hand stitch that down out of the way yeah yeah perfect so sleeves yeah so i've, I've already uh sewn them uh, together good um so let's just check your front and your back yeah, you've got notches remember a sleeve is a different shape on the back than it is on the front yeah and two notches normally means back, back and one notch means front yeah so make sure that you've uh, you put those in otherwise you'd be like that yeah <laughs> I remember doing that. Oh, don't. I said, no. <laughs> First starting. Going, I can't lift my arms in this outfit, and it's because the sleeves have been put the wrong way around, and everyone else is going like they're singing, and they're going, ooh. ooh. <laughs> yeah. It's not good, is it? No. Nope. Right. So, there's my front, there's my back. Yeah. So, I'm just going to match up the seams. Mm -hmm. Put a pin in there. And then it should just ease in. Right, when we say ease, we don't mean gather. Do no, we? no, no. There's no, there's no gather. There's no gather. So just, just keep going round. So what I tend to do is I put a couple of pins in on the back and then I go to the front uh -huh. and put a couple of pins into the front. And then you can see where your sleeve head wants to sit. And you should be able to just ease it in. Yeah. Remember, around the bottom, around the uh, underarm seam, there should be no uh, need to ease in there. It should just fit flush because yeah. you don't want any, any fullness under the No. Arm. That's it, and it does, it fits nicely. Perfect. Oh, no, don't put that in your mouth. What was I remember it? having that conversation with you. Oh, yes. Pins. Put pins in your mouth. I tend not to now, actually. No? Having done just it for... scissors in your mouth now. Having so. done it for, so, for years and years. <laughs> yeah, no, I just do silly things like leave my finger in the way when there's oh, sewing yeah, machines. That's a very unusual thing. We're oh. not concentrating. No, what happens is my industrial... Oh, right. Um, sometimes... I haven't lifted the foot up completely and I was I was pulling a thread out of the way oh. and I switched it on oh. and it went it went up and down like that yes. on my on my yeah, finger. Thank you for that. Sorry if you have your 11s sorry. in or your lunch sorry. now. Sorry, 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 sorry. Yes, so. Yes, it wasn't good really. No. It wasn't good. So I, have, I don't think I've done that since um, college. No. They say you're not a true seems just to No, that's it. it, that's it, absolutely right. Oh, 
Needless to say, every time now, I make sure the foot is... Yeah, lesson learned. ...completely down, yes. I think it's because it's getting old like me. <gasps> Needs a good service, I think. Oh, stop. That's my foot involuntarily pressing down. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, wh while we're just st st stitching on there, let me show you tomorrow's menu so we can see the sleeve put in once we've done it. Tomorrow's menu. It's not me tomorrow. It's Vic's tomorrow. 8 o'clock, Fabulous Fabrics. 9 o'clock, Time for Tea Quilt with Debbie Harris. 10 o'clock, Sewing Room Accessories. 11 o'clock, Quilted Handbag with Debbie Harris. And then 12 o'clock, brand new. Are they all brand new? All brand new, under £15 bundles. That's tomorrow. Right, now, while uh, Rebecca's still saying that, I'm saying we're going to say goodbye now because we're off to Yarn oh. Lane. If you are on the telly, stay where you are. If you want to watch Yarn Lane, please change from the... If you're watching YouTube, the website, or Facebook Live, you need to go to the Yarn Lane equivalent. <clears throat> if you bought anything for me this morning, your P&P is paid for on Yarn Lane already for the afternoon. Different company, same warehouse. You won't see the... Uh, items from Yarn Lane appear on Sewing Street website or vice versa. But like I say, your, your P&P is paid for. Nearly there. Make sure you check out your baskets on everything you've got from, Yarn, uh, from Sewing Street today. And then any second now, if she doesn't sew over her finger, we'll see yeah, if she's no, moving. No, I won't sew over my finger. There we go. So that's your sleeve. Oh, it's a, it's a sweet little, just yeah. straightforward sleeve. Yeah, yeah. Just a little, and then obviously do your hem. Hem at the bottom. Yeah. Rebecca, thank you so much. When are you in next? Uh, 3rd of September. 3rd of September. Yeah. Is it, oh, it might be me. You might I be think, lumbered with me I again. I think it is. Okay, brilliant. Well, we'll <laughs> see you then and we'll see you uh, straight on the other side of this break for Yarn Lane. We're doing beaded shawls with Anakin today. See you in four. <laughs>